don't need to see us. Or no, we don't need to see them. That's what it is. Shit. My brain is fucking melting. My stuff broke. Oh yeah, I guess. I guess Chad is here. We were too busy talking shit. We, 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 we did. I like looked at the time and I was like, oh shit, I started streaming 15 minutes ago. Damn. I was like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh wait, hold on. I got a ping in uh, Discord. Incest cannibalism game with Rana. <laughs> Is this okay, too loud? It's just too loud for me. Is it too loud? I... Is the volume okay for you? Well, I have been controlled with the Discord, like, audio. Oh, yeah, that's true, so that's it's true. it's different for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, probably fine. All right, we were right about to start chapter two. Do you need yeah. to do an introduction again? Do you want to? You love introductions. No, I'm just, I'm just good at it. That's it. Yeah, but you love doing what you're good at, so... Oh, you're right. So... Hold on. Oh no, wait. I can't control the what what I look like on your screen, can I? I was you, gonna... Direct me, direct me. I got you. I was gonna like make myself really large and then put myself directly in the center with just my face. No, oh, here. This is the important part. Oh, what's the important it's your personality. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a great personality! Oh my god. <laughs> Even do this on my own. <laughs> Hello, everybody. The I'm Ophelia Midnight. My oh, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna be like, as you can see, my boobs are on screen. My right one is, uh, we can name that one after Andy. My left one after Lily. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> wait, wait, is it working now? Is it working? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right Yay. one. Yeah, oh, wait, right wait, one. this is technically your right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this right one. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the right one. The um, right. This one is already demonetized. Is the left one is Lily. We're playing a game about incest and cannibalism. Yeah, but my last we... actually did it get demonetized. Let me look. I don't think it did. I don't know. Did it? It did didn't. It? I don't think it did. <gasps> if it makes you feel better, <clears throat> I've ne I've never gotten demonetized for my model ever. It didn't get demonetized, but my my cool bitchy girlfriend ASMR got demonetized. <laughs> well, anything with ASMR in it, it's gonna get demonetized. All of my my ASMR gets demonetized. At this point, I'm just kind of like accepted it. I want to put googly eyes for your nips. Oh wait, I think I have. I think I have googly eyes. One second. I want to see the googly eyes. Women, am I right? <laughs> I hate you. Here, we'll put the girls side by side. What do they say? They say medium is premium. What do they say about the, the big ones? Oh, I don't I don't fucking know. I just tell people that all boobs are, are good boobs, so... That's true. Because, like, uh, what's it called? Like, just because I... Because, like, uh... Just because I have big badonkers doesn't mean, like... Mm -hmm. you, I can't appreciate what other ones look like, you know what I mean? It's so true. Yeah. The amount of people that go like, Ophi, I like your personality, but your boobs are just too big. And I'm like, okay, th what? that's nice. Yeah, have I ever told you that? I think you have told me that, and then I probably react the same way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, 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 hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Googly. What happens if I put you, or put myself, oh no, I can't. Wait, I can put you in mine. We'll do like a where's Waldo thing. Where's Ophi? Oh, there's one googly. Googly googly. Okay, okay. The Hold boobception. On. Hold on. Like, should I put it in the center? Like, like It has here? to be where your nips would be. Like here? Then? Uh. It looks so It looks so stupid. Oh wait, that's why I can't- That's why it's not letting me put another googly eye. Okay. Uh, googly. This VOD is ruined. <laughs> what do you mean? This is a regular. It's kind of hypnotizing. I think it's kind of it, funny, to be it honest. It looks like some, some like stop motion thing almost. Oh, kind of. You know what I mean? Like those Pez animations I'd send you? Oh my god, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I have something in my phone that I was. It's literally like. <laughs> 
I was gonna text you this morning and I went to uh -huh. go message you from my phone in the bathroom and literally it's just a link of a YouTube short that I never sent. And I'm like, oh, that was a- <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time. I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot to press enter. No wonder she didn't respond to my meme. Oh yeah, what's it called? The screenshot that you sent me after one of the TikToks. I had an entire like paragraph sent, and but the thing is, and like I didn't press enter because I'm an idiot. And then you sent me the thing about the Yandere audio. And I was like, oh, it's too late for me to respond to it now. I guess like, it's never <laughs> too late. It's never too late. I always appreciate the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm not wrong though, guys. Okay. No, no. So I was talking to Ophi about Yandere ASMR, right? And I was listening to Yandere ASMR for reference. And I was like, some of these people will be like, I love you more than anything in the world. Why are you so fucking monotone? I don't feel the love. Can you feel the love tonight? I didn't feel any love. It felt like my childhood. I, I literally talk about this all the time. Cause like, uh, I, I talk about it with you a lot too. Like. As a yandere, as like a as a yandere like uh, VTuber, one of my biggest pet peeves is the, is like the lack of passion that I think a lot of yandere like audios have. Because like oh, you'll find God. like people they'll be like, "I love you," I just want to hold like like the thing is like it's like always very sweet and cute and whatever, but they don't say anything that's like toxic or like damn i know I think that's so boring at least like if like have the obsessiveness shine through you know be like yeah i love you so much i don't know what i would do exactly. without you exactly you know they don't fucking do anything i know it makes me so mad i'm like Same. like it's just like i I feel like if you're gonna do a yandere like mm. if you're gonna do a yandere script or an audio like, if you're gonna be more on the monotone, less, like, passionate, expressive side, at least say some fucked up shit. You yeah! Know what I mean? Like, no, I you get need you. to ba balance it out. I wanna if feel the mental illness in your voice. Yeah, I want- I want to know, like... I want to know that it- the- the monotone voice will break if the other- if the listener says or says or does the wrong thing. You want the monotoneness to instill fear upon you. Mm -hmm. If you do decide to go that route. Because if I you agree. don't go that route, then you just sound like an idiot. Like you want it to sound like ice cold, like you know you fucked up. Like you know that this is like a massive change in their demeanor. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like dang. I mean, I'll disappoint you. Me. Know? Yeah, but like we we do that anyway though. We we listen to audios and we go, "Where's the where's the passion? Where's the acting?" Yeah, and I'm like uh, and sometimes like I'll do it like before I like record a script for myself, right? And I'm like mm -hmm. I'm like, "So this is how you chose to take this. Nowhere." <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere. Stop. <laughs> Nowhere. Yeah, that's why I, for a lot of my own stuff, I usually try I usually just write my own because it's like I don't know trying to find scripts to the level of like intensity that i personally require out of like my like quote unquote yandere content yeah. I, i'm very particular like like i because the thing is the thing about yandere's is that like they do they, every <laughs> like and speaking for myself as well everything you do is out of love like you're not just like randomly commit like committing crimes just because you can or like you're a like or anything like that. It's it's literally because you care so much and you love so like have so much love for like this person, this thing that you mm -hmm. devote yourself to protecting and caring and making sure that all they'll ever need is you. And so you have to protect that. So it's like some people just don't get it, and I think that's silly. <laughs> yeah, and some of the dialogue, too, and some of the scripts I read is very unnatural. I, like, I end up ad-libbing yeah. anyways. I'm just like, what was your thought process here? Like, I, I feel like a lot of script writers, if you guys ever want to write ASMR scripts or, like, suggest mm -hmm. them to us, read them out loud as you are writing them. You know, sit on it mm -hmm. for, like, a day, reread it aloud. Cause that's how you know, yeah. like that's how you find out the pacing issues in your scripts. Exactly. Like I don't know about you, but I I know <clears> for me, like 
things is like I don't like being told how long I have to pause for pacing. Um, no, I think sense. of a response, like a natural response, and yeah, then I same. like say it in my head, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like I say it the way, like I try to think of like two or three responses that I think would be more the most normal response mm -hmm. to what like I'm saying. Like the first instinct for the listener. Yeah. and It then, helps like, with immersion too. Exactly. And like, at least for me, I usually try to say it slowly so that way like non-English speakers can like also feel like they can take their time to respond or someone feels has like more of like a or is more flust easily flustered and they like stutter and stuff mm -hmm. um i try to also account for that in my pacing mm -hmm. as well yeah that's a good idea so, yeah um so this is your yonder asmr lesson um yeah welcome uh make it passionate yandres aren't crazy they're just in love and they want to protect in the only way they understand aka me i'm giving myself the yandere pass Oh, introduction time, by the way? Didn't I say my name? I don't think you did your full introduction. We got distracted by oh. your tits. Oh, I was doing a silly introduction for once. Oh, okay, okay. But I'll do the real one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Ophelia Midnight. I'm part of v -Rev Gen 1 Catalyst. I'm a Yandere Phantom. You're welcome to call me Ophi. You're welcome. Um, some call me Ophelia. Some call me Oneasun. But you're definitely allowed to call me Mommy, darling. I know that whatever you choose to call me out of those names, I will take very, very good care of you. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. You did introduce your boobs. I thought I said I. I thought I said I'm Ophelia, and these are my boobs, Andy and Lily. I don't remember. We got the important part. It does, down. I was about to the say boobs. it doesn't matter. The boobs. boobs. Forty-two seconds or thirty-eight seconds. Wow, so many options. Sheesh! Sheesh! Oh yeah, if anyone wants me to take the googly eyes off, just let me know if it's like too distracting. You follow your your boobs heart to Yes. I thought you were gonna because I'm so used to you saying you like you to you saying kokoro. I thought you were gonna say <laughs> bukuro. Uh, and said I was that. like, damn. Dude, okay. Did I tell you that like Heiwan said the other oh Heiwan said the other day? She started saying like um in the collab I had with Seraphie, right? Mm -hmm. She was saying like she imply no worries, and that's not my favorite phrase. Uh, I, I fucking <laughs> love that. <laughs> I love her so freaking much. I I literally would go to bat for Heiwan. I love it when she says anything. It's so She's fucking like, funny. What Tashi what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> It's just so it's because it I I love Helen so much because like from first glance people would be like oh she's she's got like she's always she's, she's got like she's the so voice silly of like, uh, but she's like she's massive like a she's a massive like bro she's she's like dude you don't get it my my kokoro is brokoro my dude like you're like, okay <laughs> but it doesn't sound so cringe silly. when she says it I love when she I says know. it. <laughs> I, I anything Helen does, I absolutely love and adore. I think she's like one of the coolest people ever. She's so freaking talented. I love her. I was like, I, love I was her. telling her I stole it. I was like, I'm gonna say that from now on. She's like, steal it, steal it. And so now I'm always like, <laughs> she play no worries, bro. <laughs> It makes me so happy. The thing is, you saying that, I can hear it in my head how she says it, and that makes <laughs> it even better. <laughs> If, if, especially if she's doing her like um her like uh what is it her 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 like otaku like like because she goes ophelia john hello <laughs> like it, so <laughs> <coughs> i'm like no what <laughs> what is that i can't remember what she calls it but it's so good. I love it. She's so freaking funny. I will never get over this. Well, I guess we have to play <laughs> fucking game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like we've been, it's like we've been talking for thirty minutes and haven't touched the game. She play no worries. Let's play the game now. <laughs> you are finishing what's uh, finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. I approve. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> What was the voice I did? Uh, I think some ganky shit. Um, there's nothing interesting in the paper, right? Mm, I'm not done reading. 
Oh, you'll appreciate this. Ever since we played this, I've started mm. getting like a lot of tweets on my Porn? For You page of people oh. like simping over what, what's his fucking name, Andy. Andrew? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Uh, you would call him Andrew. <laughs> you fucking Excuse shit. me, his name is Andrew, not Andy. <laughs> he doesn't like to be called Andy. Andy died in the last episode. You fucking shit. <laughs> but yeah, I kept seeing it and I was like, dang. I wonder if Rana's also getting these in her free. No! Life. You weren't? Oh. No. Okay, I'll go i I'll go hunt them and I'll go send them to you later. Thank you, I love you. You're welcome, I love you. It's been a week. The odds that there are something now, that there's something now are non-existent. Me thinking of the cold case files. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> As if. Mm, just let me check. Oh, uh, you know what? Bose hmm. should play this game. Sorry, it's really random, but I think she. I think I would. Like I'd be to interested Bose to play hear this. her like psychological analysis on this. Yeah, I started introducing people to Bose, like ghosties to Bose. Uh -huh. And it's been really fun. I'm like, oh my god, yes. I can now appreciate this with more people. Did I tell you I was gonna buy your blanket, but then the shipping was like $40? No, you didn't. I tried buying it because it looks super soft and I need a new blanket. And then I, I went to checkout and it was crazy expensive for shipping. And I was like, Bose, Skidayo, Demo, <laughs> Taka. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I go men the side I was so go men the sorry I could not pay it <laughs> Please forgive Oni guy she pleases <laughs> Bose B O Z E sorry <laughs> Bose versus the world Bose versus the world Okay, anyway, uh, I'm bored. Bitch, you're always bored. You're right. <coughs> That's Why relatable. I don't know, did you break it? No. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Mm, well, technically I have money. Oh yeah, cause we split it. Yeah, yeah, we only have like the $666 total. So whack. Yeah. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. God damn! I just want to stay at a hotel. When you need to know who I am, I'm paying up front, aren't I? It's not like I'd bail on them or bail out on them. What they need to do is just like break into like an RV and take it or something. Boohoo, the motel is just fine too. Didn't an RV have that much cash? I don't know. I mean, how yeah. cheap is this motel? I know. I need like one of those, uh, I saw this like RV and it mm. was like a zombie, like apocalypse one. And it wasn't oh. like the most bougie RV ever. Really? Was, like, huh? Yeah, it was like a hundred grand. What the heck? I mean, like, there are some people who, like, have, like, uh, like, shelters and, like, RVs and stuff, like, prepped for, like, the apocalypse already, you know? That is not me. I'm going down. I'm <laughs> order delivery during the apocalypse. I'm a tip 10%. <laughs> Only 10% during the 10%. apocalypse? The economy's so, like, going what downhill. If into, what if they turn into a zombie at your door? I guess we both get to eat, then. Oh my god. <laughs> I can picture you taking your food and being like one second and then you eat it and then you go, okay, take me. And then you like l just accept it. I need my last meal, baby. <laughs> I'm seasoning up for him. <laughs> you go to your kitchen and grab all the seasonings and just pour it on yourself. And then you open the door for the zombie. <laughs> okay, no, I, I am a woman of culture. Less is more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that, like, raw taste. <laughs> yeah, I'm classy. I'm like yeah, some... Yeah, yeah. Some Otoro, you know? <laughs> some Otoro, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, did you see that, like, Bones is making, like, an announcement for a new anime or something? And people are hoping it's Shira Yukihime or Oran? No. 
No, but the thing is, good. Did you see Good Smile released? Um, is releasing the Hitachi twins, uh, figurines. No. Oh shoot. So yeah. So I'm under the impression, based off of what you just said, like maybe they're releasing Oron. I will. Cr I will literally cry. You know how much I love Oron. I. I will fucking i i will sob like if i'm streaming i will pause the stream everything has to stop like i would lose my freaking mind how much a new year streamer overload one hmm? remember the new year streamer overload figurines i was talking about oh yeah i still need to figure out did you it oh, rejected you mine they like rejected my payment 10 times it finally went yeah, through wasn't that during the left for dead collab Yes. Didn't what's it called? Because okay, so if any of you guys were watching the Left 4 Dead collab that we did on my channel with Roka and Momo from Idol, <laughs> the entire <clears throat> time Rana was trying to buy something <laughs> during the collab, it was that. And um, that's like uh, what's it called? So are are you saying that like it's still not working? No, I finally got it to uh, order. I was oh. wondering if you decided to get it. It's super cute. It's kind of expensive though. I think actually the shipping I think was like twenty bucks, forty bucks. I said um, I just complained about the shipping. Honestly, I don't have the money for it, so I, I don't think that I could. I will buy like, it for you. Or <coughs> I'm just saying, the chat. <coughs> Ovi's channel <laughs> is linked. <coughs> you can you can buy for. It. <coughs> Sorry, wow, that just came out of my throat. <laughs> Are you, are you good? It sounds like it sounded like there was something like really stuck in there. <laughs> if eight of you give ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I I I'm a, so I don't I only played it once on stream, but I'm a huge needy streamer overload fan, and I currently have the Kawaii Angel figure. Um, I want to get the Ame, but like I'm also trying to go to Disney World, so I have to like kind of like pick and choose which nice thing I want to do for myself. You deserve I like one thing both. at a time. I don't. I can't afford both. That's why chat. <laughs> stop! Stop doing the stop doing the silly cough because you're going to nah, actually no. like hack up your well, lungs. I, I was also eating my burrito bowl. Uh, what can I say? Ooh, you have a burrito bowl. Yum tea. Ah, it's chicken. Uh, oh, I just actually finished a chicken rice bowl. And well. This one has the pineapple salsa in it. Ooh. I should really. Mm. It's really good. Mine just had edamame and other veggies. Mmm. So. I see we're both trying know. to be healthy in different ways. <laughs> yeah, but you know, healthy, it's good for you. <clears throat> Rana, you seem a little sick. Are you okay? Actually, I'm not okay. But you know what would make me okay? Giving Ophi money. Okay, that's the last time. <laughs> You can with the Streamlabs link in her channel, you know, which is linked in the description below. <laughs> okay. You gotta do it like the way it let you gotta you gotta do it the way it does it. Boys, if you click the link down below. <laughs> oh my god, I watched Jack Septikai from uh -huh. Happy Wheels. He put out a new video and he did that thing that he does where he goes, punch the like button in the face like a boss, and I will see all you dudes. And I was like, what's it called? Good I, God, I is this like, what we sound geez. like? Yeah, yeah that's Maybe what I mean. we should switch careers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, you know, you and I can, we can elope and we can like hide in the woods. We can do what they're doing, except it's like, we're not actually siblings, so it wouldn't be incestuous anymore. But well, that just takes know. the fun out of it. We can we can go to the government and make his le make his legally legally bound. No 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 no. I I understand. Okay, we just need to get adopted by certain oh, people. Oh true. Oh true. Yeah. Can we be? Can, uh, will someone adopt like a a a, a dead person? <laughs> and like like like. It what even am I? Oh no! Huh? Oh no! I was gonna have an Are existential you... crisis. What am I? Aren't you a raid boss? Yeah, but who would adopt that? 
Oh, I thought you were saying that you actually forgot what you were. <laughs> I was like, did you actually forget? <laughs> no, I forget a lot of things though, so fair enough. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, well, this is our uh, Craigslist ad. Anyone who wants to adopt a ghost and a demon raid boss, not demon raid boss, queen queen boss, queen raid boss. Thank yeah. you. I might be able to get some cash money from my actual parents one day. I love that for you. Also, it's, I don't know if you know it's your turn to read, but I just also wanted you to know. I knew, I just, we went on another tangent. <laughs> it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay, fine. I, we'll improve the pacing. Okay. Mm -mm. Yay! Oh wait, he just said it's really not. I swear, I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Well, yet. He's so smug. Ah! Fuck, he's so hot. What? <laughs> Did you see for a second? Go! Huh? Huh? Uh, are you back? Am I back? Am I, uh, are you back? Oh wait, I see your boobs, thank god. We're in a safe space now. Yeah, I was gonna oh. say, I like... Di like, I froze for like a second. I, I don't know I what just happened. Oh, okay. My fucking garbo internet. It's okay, no it's okay, we still love you. Thank you. Okay. Your internet doesn't define you. Did you... Can you still see the stream? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like it went out for like a second. <sighs> mm -hmm. mm. I think I left my gun back in the room. <sighs> I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey! Now we can... We can't both be constantly <clears throat> shitting ourselves over one... Every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Steals what? The gun? I think so. Oh, this is so weird for me, especially because I was playing Omori earlier. Oh yeah, I saw that on Discord. The aesthetic is, is totally different. <clears throat> is it like? Are you? Is it like your first time playing Omori? It's my first time getting past the prologue. Like, I have 18 hours total in that game, right? But this playthrough mm -hmm. is only 8 hours because I kept getting stuck in the prologue. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Yeah. You wanna be the shopkeep? Yeah. Are you looking for something specific? <laughs> nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? Oh, Token, shit. bitch! That's aggressive. The is there fuck? anything here? <laughs> Dude, I was about to say, if they don't have dreams. enough money, beggars can't be choosers. I've been saying that a lot lately, but like, just eat from the trash if you can. What is this? Do you see that? There's like a triple six as well. Yeah, I think this is a cult area. Hmm, that's weird. That's suspicious. Hmm. What the heck? You think we'll get you second if we stay here long enough? Probably not. We could. It's like, uh, what is that one movie where it's like, okay, okay. What is that? You know what I'm talking about? It's also a book. Everyone was obsessed with it. It's from. Mm, no. It's from like 2014. It has Shailene Woodley and Ansela Elgort in it. <clears throat> the Fault in Our Stars. They like live ah! in the middle of the street and they talk about life. I don't know. I've never watched it. <laughs> I thought they were um, not in the middle of the street, but they were in the middle of the lawn. Oh, were they? I don't know. I refused to watch it, and I did refuse to read it because uh, it was so popular, and it's me. So of course I was like that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Okay. So I guess our I guess mm -hmm. our hotel room is up at the top. Yeah, this is not inspire joy. All kinds of waste of money. Me for real, for real. It wasn't. What did this one say? Oh my gosh. I guess we can't just break into random things. That's lame. Uh, Are come you on. tired of living? <gasps> Inquires the ad. Ask yourself, ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. 
It's not working! Um, <laughs> I gotta die on my doctor. <laughs> what does Dr. Kuhn say? Dr. Kuhn says come back in business hours. Well, fuck that. Would you take this? I don't know if I would try a caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. Uh, actually, you know what? Why aren't there flavors like that? Um, to be honest, like, I think there are, like, weird soda flavors, though. Like, have you seen... There's a mustard are, one. Like... Yeah, so there's a, um... There's, like, uh... Like, ranch, bacon, peanut butter jelly, uh... I've seen peaches and cream, apple pie... Oh, that sounds nasty, um, peaches and cream. Uh, sweet corn. I think I've seen sweet corn. Uh, butter-flavored soda... Um, oh gosh, there's so many, like buffalo wings. Um, I'm gonna Google it. That sounds and I think, horrifying. Like, and like, I think lemon, lemon meringue pie, hold on, list of gross, oh, not gross, I won't say that, because if people like it, that's mean. Um, list of weird, list of, uh, unique flavored... <laughs> flavored sodas. What the fuck? You're trying to, like, censor, like, a message to, like, that one friend that can't take any criticism. <laughs> Except it's, like, the Google search results. Oh, you literally go, if you go on Amazon, you, it mm. literally auto-corrects to weird soda. Oh. Uh, so, okay, so, this says sweet corn, pumpkin pie, buffalo wings, ranch dressing, peanut butter and jelly, bacon, peaches and cream, apple pie, strawberries and cream, Key lime pie, lemon meringue, cherries and cream, sweet corn, grass, butter, mustard, enchiladas, pickles, coffee cake, birthday cake, carrot cake, chocolate soda, um, let's see, cookie dough, cookies and cream, uh, red velvet cake, chocolate cake and fudge brownie, dirt, Coffee, maple syrup. Fuck, I want him to talk um, to me like that. You want him to call you? You want him to be like, get your fat ass out of the way? If it's from you him, I'm okay with it. You know what? I think that's fair. I think you're valid. You're valid to feel this way, and I love that for you. Mm. <laughs> Look at her fucking face as she's standing in front of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the the, the like down tr like the down like lines, is so good. I know. Ass, I think you met my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. I'm looking at the googly eyes on my other monitor. Yeah, she right. She right for real. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. You want to see a fun trick? Hmm. There we go. That was kind of tricky or trippy. Yeah, it's like harder to time it when, like, like if you're, because you have to time it, especially when you go down. So boom, and then you have to time it when you go up. Don't worry about it. Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. I feel like the Chris more and like the, that last. I was about it. to say <laughs> everything combined. Like there was that large <coughs> argument, but like, uh, what's it called? That, that was just sexual tension. Time? Actually, like yeah. I could have pictured a hate fuck right there when they were arguing last time. Well, just right now too. Oh, but there's always a lot of sexual tension between them. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you love this. <laughs> Alas, I cannot watch the news off of your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister of mine? I am not fat. How could I be after starving for so long? Oof. Oof, Andrew! No, you're right. But you're also in the way. Uh, apologize! I'm sorry that you can't understand I'm trying to watch TV! You're so lucky I love you too much to shoot! Whoa! They just like let off all the stops, huh? Yeah, they like... said episode two, they we're going for it. Also, I want you to look at the beds. Notice how one is made and the other and one has two pillows. 
That's true. Yikers! <laughs> uh... And I would appreciate you too if you moved a little to the left. You're supposed to say you love me too! I do! Now fuck off! I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> and you pretend to love to see you? ignoring you! <laughs> or your fat tits! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried Toxic Soda? It's water, but worse! Now, in three new flavors. Awful, gross, and nasty! Try them today! Mmm, Toxic Soda tastes like life! She play no worries, bro! I don't know why I'm drinking this. Did you, did you like that advertisement? Oh. It, it doesn't seem like you you'd like that advertisement. I I wouldn't say I dislike it. it. I would say that um it was a lot to take in, and that my processing is not that fast. So please come back at a later date. Uh, fair enough. Oh right, we still have the gun in here. <laughs> yeah, she just said that she was gonna shoot Andrew. Wait. Oh. Okay. Well, how did we make such a mess? It's only been like a week. I think they've just- I think they're just messy people at that point, you know what I mean? Uh, paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. Well, I'll be the judge of that! Hey, beggars can't be choosers. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Well, this is empty except for reclaimed your gun. Poggers! Though, it's Thank not really you. yours anyway. Uh, whatever. The worm's gun is yours now. Anything more? So we'll just put in the laundry. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. This is weird. Why is there a mo like a laundry room in a motel? Or like a laundry machine? Um, I don't know. It's Maybe it's like a... I was about to say, I, I feel like I've never seen that. Usually, like, you have to go to a separate room for laundry. You know yeah, what I mean? they have the coin laundry. Yeah. All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. Uh, I'm really such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. She's just like me for real, for real. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean. I'm a feast on the eyes. Get your fat tits out of the way. Also, I'm getting right out of the googly eyes. I'm starting to stare at the googly eyes more than the game. I start, I start to look at them too. It's kind of hypnotizing. I don't blame yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. Hmm. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Oh my god. He's looking at me like I'm human garbage. <clears throat> <laughs> Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. God is testing me and I am failing. It's okay, it's okay. If you fail the test, it means you just get him. I just need to kill Ashley. No biggie. <laughs> and her fat tits. We can eat them together. No, I think I have enough tits for myself. Unless you're talking about Andrew. Andrew. Okay, cool. Because I do not. I do not. <laughs> I do not need new more boobs on my body. <laughs> Same. <laughs> laugh, woman. I did, and then you just you thought it was my real laugh. That was the uh, problem. <laughs> I guess you could say I should have known. Ooh, what are you going to do about it? Andy... Gonna choke me out again, are ya? Are ya? Do you want me to? Oh, come on! I'm kidding! It's all in good fun. She should have taken it. I thought we were fine. We are! I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. 
It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism, shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Though you're not going to f you though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this has happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our soda, Toxa Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavor- Excuse me, sir, something seems to be going wrong with your microphone! I'm sure you mean to say to drink our trusty Bubbly Bobbly, which happens to be our sponsor! And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, isn't it? On the bright side, it looks like they want to cover it up just as much as we do. That is true. The more she speaks, the more I'm like, she's like me for real, for real. I'm <laughs> me? <laughs> was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? Oh, that would have been so smart to do! Yeah, I don't disagree. Oh, but I guess... The Wait, there was bed dialogue we missed?! Oh my god. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Aww. We can Google it later. We can go, like, search it up on YouTube and find the bed dialogue. Oh yeah, we didn't- Like, I was saying, remember when we were leaving the apartment, we should have, like, gotten the, um... We should have moved the bars or like the wood planks blocking the doors so at least I could get yeah. out if they were alive. But now I think we just got like a pentakill for that complex. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, they did leave the candles burning off after the ritual too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and they were on the floor. Yeah. Oh well. That's fine. I'm sad. Everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, what? They must think we died too, <clears throat> and all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. Mm, I wonder about that. I told you it'll all work out. Well, that still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. It was leave it to Annie to insist on getting a two-bedroom and then just have a panic attack every other night. Ah, uh, okay, I figured it was something like that. Mm. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. Mm, I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Let's see, does it still say it? Oh, no, it doesn't. No. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Thank you for that, by the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, never mind. He's just like me for real, for real. Someone has entered the room. Who the fuck? Oh, this must what be his nightmare. Fuck? Oh, it could be. Yeah, that actually oh. makes sense. Oh, I guess it's her <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> it was just Andy choking her. No biggie. I guess he must have fallen asleep. I wonder if I guess I guess we go oh, talk let to me him. Get the, let, me, let me get the laundry. Onita. Wake up, we have got to go. Oh no, because remember she was having a premonition because of the amulet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I thought it was just an anxiety dream. Get up! I had a vision! 
We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. I wonder if you've been being followed this entire time. I wouldn't be surprised. Liam, I gotta so... get my laundry. No, just... <laughs> I was gonna say, make sure we save. How do we save again? Oh, right. We go. can just save. Like a regular RPG maker. Sorry, I'm used to only saving at picnics now. <laughs> Fucking Omori. <laughs> Fucking Omori. Uh, go to the vending machine. Maybe we can vending get machine? something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Maybe, maybe we, we can, can throw get... a can on their head. Don't. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. Up yours, Andrew. What do you even? What do I even put up with you for? <laughs> I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this, and that's final. Okay, never mind. So I guess wherever I don't know, maybe we go back to the cafe or something. Do we have a car? How did we get no, here? I, don't did we, think I think so. we bus before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we walked. No, we took a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I guess go bus. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, there's a cultist robe in the shop. Oh, scary. So want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Hmm. Might be a bit risky staying here. I don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. Um, that amulet was actually so useful. Thanks, plot. Yeah. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait! Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Oh! Okay, we can't get the soda, but you can have your cigarette. Okay! Another one? Way to blow money. Blow out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Does it really? Um, does it? Is there anybody in the chat that smokes cigarettes that knows? Okay, smoking smells awful and it's so bad for you, right? But there's something yeah. about like a smoking pose that's hot. I don't disagree with that. I feel so bad. Like, just, I don't know why. Why is it attractive? But don't smoke I think this. I was about to say, it, it's really bad, especially for anybody who, like, um, wants to pursue things, like, vocally. Don't re I don't recommend it. Obviously, it's your body. Do what you want. Um, but, like, I think, I think, like, it's the quote-unquote edginess to it. I can um, see that. Both my parents used to smoke, actually, but then my mom just, like, oh, randomly really? stopped one day. She was like, I think it's because we kept complaining about, like, the secondhand smoke. And then she just, like, mm. she stopped and she never did it again. That's fair. Yeah, because like it gets on your like the smell gets on your clothes and stuff. And I think because mm. I honestly very genuinely, I think like smoking, especially in media, like if you watch a lot of if you're into those like, quote unquote, bad boy types, like it's associated with like danger and rebellion and like adventurous characteristics. And so like um, it comes off as like hot, you know? Because even if, like, a person who's, like, a femme fatale type, that person, like, smoking a cigarette, like, it still means, like, they have some sort of dominance or sense of danger about them. Yeah, and I'm that, not gonna like, lie. I was just thinking of Heathers this entire conversation. <laughs> are you talking about JD or, like, yes. Heather? Yeah. <laughs> you would be. You would be. No. Fucking like him. <laughs> I just want to be 17. <laughs> Yeah, you wanted to look at you and be like, our love is God. That song slaps though, and the Heather's animatics are so fucking good. They are so good. It's so good. I will admit my favorite line though in the reprise. Mm -hmm. Um when uh what's it called? Um Veronica she looks at like she goes to jd and like because like he's like keep going like our love is god and he keeps saying that over and over again mm -hmm. and then right before everything explodes she goes say hi to god and i think that's so oh cool. yeah it's such a good I, I heard line. that one it's really good yeah and okay. everything explodes it's so good it just goes out with a bang <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> 
It makes you impotent too, by the way. It's okay, I can I can help him. Well, it didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Golly gee, I wonder. Oh my god, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I said enough! <clears throat> Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It just gets better and better, baby. Oh, God, cultist. Oh, my God. Do you want... What is the most important thing about this image to you? Um... <laughs> my brain went somewhere real sexual, so I don't know. Mine did, too, but... <laughs> um... What, like, how sexual is yours, though? Okay, like, I mean, I already said it gets better when her mouth is covered, so. Oh. It's, it's kind of over for me. For, for me, I was like, oh, she's, uh, she's <clears throat> closer to the ground. She could fall to her knees a lot easier. Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. I, yeah. Okay, well, I was thinking. Because, like. Because he can shut her up with more than just her, <laughs> with his hands. Yeah, that's true. But I was thinking, oh, my God, look at the height gap. That's fair. That's fair. I won't lie though. I, I like I will admit <laughs> like I was I, I guess I'm so used to like thinking of like holding ghost tees between my boobs because my brain immediately was like if I was in that position, uh -huh. my like my ghost tees would be in front of me, squished between my ch in like in between my chest. But and I've done that before. And then like and then I was like, oh wait, this I'm <laughs> like I don't think in this scenario I'd ever be Andy. Wait, so. no, I want to put myself on top of you, because then I could NTR ghosties. I'm lucky. <laughs> no, there's room for everybody. There's room for everybody. Have you seen- Not on this stream, there isn't! Are? Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta test your appreciation, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. It's the- it's the- it's the ultimate test of love. How, oh. willing, how far are you willing to hold out until I arrive? <laughs> um, and I am 165 centimeters. Can someone confirm that for me? I actually don't know what it, I don't know how tall I am. That sounds right. I don't remember mine. I'm like five, 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 six. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. I'm, so he didn't recognize us, but the person who killed us in the dream clearly went there explicitly to do like to like, kill us otherwise yeah, so they would just burn down the building from? yeah though he sure looked familiar anyway didn't we eat that guy don't see that out loud <clears throat> oh sorry didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer ashley come on Seriously, though, I guess there's more from where he came from. This is like some brood mother type thing where they're just breeding cultists. Where do you suppose oh, he was honestly. off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Let's go. Let's go, Ikuzo. Should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if, you, if my vision comes true or not. I mean, maybe that was him, but like... He was only going to kill the people in there? Uh, it could be. Like, maybe, like, he was given, like, a vision to <clears throat> kill the people in that room, but wasn't given an idea of what those people looked like. Oh, maybe. It could be that. Yeah. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're all so curious as about what this cultist lookalike is up to. Uh, fine. You go. But come back soon. I'm Andwu. Oh, sick. Okay, let's save. Did I save? Yeah, I should have saved. Oh. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? First things first. <laughs> Go buy the soda. Yeah, buy the yeah! soda! Yeah! This is definitely... Hey there, I caught you something. Who is that? 
Aww. I know. I disappoint myself too. Can't believe they got me with their limited time only BS. Yes, thank you. Let me try some right now. Thank God, we're one step closer to fucking our sister. <laughs> Ashley opens the can and takes a sip. Well, any good? <clears throat> mm. You can have the rest. This one's gross, too! That's just great. <laughs> it tastes like what nail polish smells like. What a waste of money. Not at all, my curiosity is sated. Chemical burn on my tongue aside, I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return, my virginity? That's for later. Jesus fucking Christ! It's enough of that. Haha. <laughs> the foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you go to a bar and a dude buys you a drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? Which bar is this? I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I doubt the bar browsing bitches are very virginal. Can you imagine him with fangs right here? That's all you're thinking about. <laughs> what? It's important. Why does he need fangs? Yeah, but he was just like... It's like how I look better with fangs, you know? You just have to have fangs. I I don't have fangs in real life because I have I had to get <clears throat> like so many teeth removed. Mm-hmm. Um, when I got when I had braces, and so I actually forget that people have fangs pretty often. Like, cause like even my model doesn't have it. I have this, this little hamster tooth. I have like slight ones. Do you? Hold yeah. On, see. A lot of like dentists apparently in EU, it's not like or like Germany, it's not normal for them to remove it. But like they'll often file it down in like North America. Your fangs, like your canines. Oh, you have back teeth, too. I had never, like, looked close enough at your mouth. You even have a uvula. You ah. 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 Oh, your tongue is so cute. Thank you. Yeah, you do really... You do The fangs really do suit you. Right? Fang gang supremacy. I was talking about IRL, yeah. though. I hung too. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have... Uh, I don't have fangs IRL. I had to get them removed, because, um... What's it called? My my ortho when I was like a teenager. <clears throat> so like mm -hmm. I when I was still like like I'm gonna be an actor on, on in Hollywood one day. Um, mm -hmm. I uh I I got braces so that way I could have like you know the Hollywood straight teeth and whatever. Is that normal? Uh, You're okay. cutting out. Wait. Sorry, I, I had to unplug my microphone because I could hear buzzing. Because my because like sometimes oh, it buzzes when I yeah. Because like sometimes I knock my my microphone <clears throat> with my boob and it like starts to make a buzzing noise. I think when that where happens. I place it because I place it like at the center of my chest. Um, I always drop just, mine. Do you? Yeah. yeah. One of these days. I... I'll have to find a picture of it. I'll send it to you. But there's like a picture of me missing my like my top canines and my bottom canines. And so like I have no fangs now because like I had to get eight teeth removed because I, <laughs> I didn't have no space for them all. Um, but Wait, that's were these like I... wisdom teeth? I had to get removed. No. Um, I've gotten my wisdom teeth <clears throat> removed and I've gotten my can my canines removed. Um, but the thing is because of I've had like I guess that in total is eight teeth. And but because of that, I have extra uh, like gum space in the back of my mouth, and so oh. eating crunchy things hurts my mouth. It's why I don't like really eating chips or like popcorn because they get stuck in your gums and it hurts. That's fair. I had to get yeah. like I didn't have to get that many removed. I think I only had to get the four, but I had to get my wisdom teeth on my top and bottom removed because they were like, mm -hmm. if you keep your wisdom teeth, you're gonna have nerve damage because your jaw's too small for them. And it's like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What's it called? My my um my ortho was like, you have a lot of teeth and a really small mouth. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well. To be fair, it's never stopped me from anything before, so that's what's important. But, so you can't really see it. Hold on, I'm gonna send you this picture. Um, like. 
it's very it's very like that era and then i'm gonna delete it afterwards but like you can kind of see it like in like see that there's like a hole in my in the side of my teeth oh teeth yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i see i see it yeah it's cute though my the gap in my teeth i think it's cute it's kind of endearing you think i remember i remember because like people would try to tease me about it mm -hmm. and i remember that <laughs> this is you're gonna hear this story and you're gonna be like this is so you <laughs> So I used to like, I would take like plastic knives and like stick them through and make them sho shove out the other side and be like, and like make that, like do weird things with my mouth because it was like, if people are going to make fun of me for it, I might as well make it weirder. So that way they know that I don't give a fuck. That's and, totally like, fair. Uh, or like when I, <clears throat> when I still had baby teeth, uh -huh. um, I bit one of my baby teeth in half while I was eating. And so part of it was like chipped off, not chipped off, but like it was still, it was all still connected. But like if you bent it down, you could see the root inside of my tooth. Um, and it was a baby tooth, so it wasn't a big deal. But I, to, if people tried to like tease me or like try to force me to do anything, I'd be like, I'll show you my tooth or, and, I'll, and I'll rip it out in front of you. And so, if people try to like bully me or like tease me to do things, I would like pull down the side of my tooth and like show mm -hmm. them the root inside of it. So they would be like, ew, Ophi, what is that? <laughs> and, and I'd be like, I told you I'd do it. Like, and like for some reason it would like make people stop like bullying me because I just didn't care about anything. It's really wild. That's kind of metal. You think? I think so. You just assert dominance on them. It's like the equivalent of like people posing. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. We take those. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, teeth. I have a fascination with teeth. teeth. I think I've told. I think I've told you that before, though. Mayhaps. But yeah. How I like like I like to play the game of like which does this celebrity have veneers or real teeth? Oh, that's sounding more familiar. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, haha, -ha, tea. <laughs> I think you mean tea teeth. Haha. <laughs> haha, -ha, tea. No, we can't throw out our soda. That was our life savings. Just uh, pour it over your body and make him drink it. I don't think he wants to drink that. Okay, then you pour it on him and she'll and you drink it. I don't think either of us want to. You don't want to. You wouldn't. You wouldn't drink it off of his body. Oh, I thought you meant like Ashley. No, you. <clears throat> no, I definitely do it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Delicious. So I guess we go where the cult went. Yikers! Oh wow, this dude just got left on red. Wait, hold the door, please. <laughs> what the? What the? Fuck? He needs to show the root of his teeth, then they'll never do this again. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> it's Curse like a you, brats. <laughs> it's like high schoolers. It really <laughs> is. But he really didn't see that? I guess the hood blocked his peripheral vision. Oh wait, we can check the bed as Andrew too? Alright. Oh, we can? Sick. We're going back, baby. Do not play games like this with the joystick. It's actually in Are you playing with a controller? Yeah. Play everything with a controller. Oh yeah, you totally have nightmares as often as you claim. Oh! Keep hoping there'd be something useful in these papers, but there never is. Isn't there anything else? So he's faking his nightmares? Is that what he's saying? I think it's like... Uh, that and like codependency. Oh, what happens if I leave on the top? Did I do anything? Did I just? Oh, I think you're just flushing the toilet. Mm, I guess so. Does he have different commentary for everything? I guess so. Oh, maybe not. I know what they expected, honestly. The pool next to Ashley. The pool. There's a bunch of call girls ads stuck to the wall. 
Oh my, maybe I should leave my number there. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash and it would be tax-free to boot. See, another word, no backhand you. Keep talking. Damn. Damn. Sheesh, learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there, I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. But that's the best part. <clears throat> I'm not- I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. And would you honest to God backhand me just like that? Well, not right here anyway. Wow, okay, wife beater. I respect that. He keeps it to the bedroom. <laughs> Aw, don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. <sighs> She's really living the life, huh? There's so much sexual tension. It's no crazy. Reason. It's crazy. Like, I'm just, like, constantly thinking to myself, get a room. Yeah. Um, maybe... I was gonna say, is there anything over, like, in that bag? In here? The tra the trash can uh, to the left. Yeah, that one. Doesn't look like we can interact. Then maybe we need to go... Or maybe on the desk? Because there's a desk. Did we check that? Not seeing anything so far. Or, like, behind the desk is what I mean, I guess. Nope. Nope, nope. Maybe pin code? Asking for a passcode. Gee, I wonder what it could I be. I wonder what it could be. Oh man, I think it's I think it's seven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe that too. <laughs> the elevator arrives. Ugh, of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. <laughs> You in? Sorry, was uh, I not supposed to be here? Uh, I think is this the sex and demons party? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Isn't this a demon sex party? What? I hope not. My wife will kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh well. Just a regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly! Right, sorry. I didn't even know- I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks! Alright, I'll go. No harm done. Can't believe this! They literally invite anyone these days, huh? They also put the- the fucking code, like, <laughs> on the wall. Yeah, that's true. That just means six size is getting popular! We should be glad! Mm. So I'm guessing our neighborhood- our neighborhood is part of this- these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... I mean, you guys also summoned yeah, the demon. Yeah, it really what wasn't the... that hard. It, you just go to like chapters and you get some book. Oh, right, you guys don't have chapters. You have, you have indigo. What? Bookstores? What, what bookstores do you guys have? Barnes and Nobles. Is that a bookstore? Barnes and Noble. Um, we it used to be Borders, <clears throat> but uh, that shut down. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really go to bookstores. Uh, Barnes Noble, Books a Million. I don't know. Yeah. Locked. Okay. Locked. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe Ash again? What the fuck? Oh, I thought it was where Ash is. Where, the trash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Not check that. the trash can again. Oh, wait. Or, like, behind the desk. Oh, there you go. Ugh, what do I care what those cons are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Wow, that's go. crazy. Should we go give her an update? Uh, um, I guess go grab the cult robe and then, like, bring, like if there's one in, like, the thing. Because uh, that's what I'm assuming. Like, go grab it and then, like... Oh, this looks like a meth lab. Oh, never mind, oh, that's just cake. Kidding. My bad. Uh oh. 
I thought it was just a closet. I thought it was a closet to get a cult robe. Oh, can you take that and make a cult robe? Maybe. Tom player is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. Cake. I want um, I want cake. He's so the cakes. It's been late for a work meeting. Oh shit. Oh shit. The elevator's coming up. Uh, uh hide. Hide. I don't know. <laughs> Where the fuck are you supposed to hide? Oh, maybe we're supposed to sneak in with the carts. Oh. This is gonna take two trips. He hasn't brought in the groceries for mom enough in his life. So I guess interact with the. I'm putting on the crash. Stop being my lunch, you animals. Remember, eat my casserole. I will have your head no plate. Interact with the cart? Maybe. I oh, yeah, say, I guess maybe. we are. You'd also be seen instantly. Uh, Maybe get the drapes, get the curtains. And then, <clears throat> there you go. Hmm. <laughs> the cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake in his mouth. Oh, dark lore, that is good. Oh, my God. That's like when people used to say, like, oh, my Gaga for, like, Lady Gaga. Oh my dark lord. That is something I'm glad to have not heard. I heard it almost too much. I'm it was it was a time. I'm not surprised. He carts into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the others? Oh, could it be the weight of my sins? No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know between me and the devil. Just act normal. D did I miss it? Shh. Is that the? Is that like the leader, the one with the eyeballs on the stage? Also, notice how like the thing says six f u. <laughs> yeah, that that's tacky. Can't see anything from here. Oh. Oh, you have a face. He has a face. Nice. Hello. It's nice to meet you. You oh. want to be the oh. leader? Yeah, sure. Um. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord on. This is such fun! Reveal yourself to us, Lord. You keep cutting out. <laughs> oh, am I? <laughs> Reveal yourself! Ah, oh, that's better. The cultists keep okay. calling for Lord Unknown for a while, but it's becoming increasingly clear and nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. <laughs> oh wait, hold on a second, I have oh. a thing for this. Oh! My Ashley! My Ashley summoned something on her first try. Oh, that's... oh my Ashley, that's so cute. Oh wait. I know. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Probably not a good thing, is it? I wanna be called that. Aww. His Rana. <laughs> Wait, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. I have a thing for this. Hold on, I have a thing for this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'll, I'll, and you can use it too if you want to. Um, excuse me. I do want to be his. Why? Why can't I be? That's all I want. I was meant to be yours. <laughs> you were meant to be mine. What? Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? I'm trying to get my VTube studio open, but it's not showing. Like, it's not opening. It didn't like you. No, I'm trying to do a thing. Oh, there we go. There it is. That's true. I will self insert. Not copium. Did you get it? Yeah, 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 I got it. It's 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 loading. Here, I'll send it to you too. 
Oh yeah, I I'm excited. Here. Humma, 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 humma. Oh, this! I remember this! Yeah! Uh, here's a version that's not, like... Oopsie. Uh... This one, the, the, like, darkness on it is, like, really funky, so... It's so cute! Are you gonna put it on now? Yeah, I'm putting it on. Thank you. I have to, it really uh, adds to the atmosphere. Wait, hold on. I gotta put my hair down. The fuck? What happened to my mom? My... Ah. Okay, there we go. Wow. There. I sent it to you, so if you want to also wear a collar. <laughs> okay, there. Okay. Let me download this real quick. You're good. Lickety split. My god, we'll be matching. We would be. We will be. I gotta adjust myself. And then... It's so weird when you're putting it on. Because I, I gotta adjust it. Oh no, I killed it! I killed it! No! Okay, What'd you I do? Them. I don't know, I just randomly disappeared. No! Uh, just like my dad. Oh, it's okay. It happens. Oh, there it is. There you go. Cute! There you go. We're two little matching... This Why isn't is on you. So... It is on me on my screen. Oh, wait. Is it... Wait, maybe... Oh, it has... It... Maybe you have to do it? Do I have to do it? Do you have to do it? I don't, can I even put assets on you? Hold on. I, I can't try touch again. yours. Hold on, let me try again. Oh, yeah, okay. I think it's because I, I have it to not pin to me. Because oh. um, because my boobs, it makes hard it makes it hard for me to pin things to my body. Oh, there you go. I see it on you for a second. Oh, not anymore. <clears throat> okay, Ouch. how about now? Yeah, 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 it's on now. Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, it popped off. Oh, it's because I was adjusting it. Is okay. it gone now? Is it still there? No, it's fixed now. It's fixed now. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it popped off again. It's because I... Because I'm trying... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get it to attach to my body, but it won't. Okay, there we go. Okay, now... So now if I... Woman, make do, up your mind. Do this. I'm trying to get it to lock, so that way I can move. But it's not locking? I don't understand. <laughs> Just okay, put one on each now? of your boobs. Okay, there we, okay. there we go. There we go. There we go. Yay! Okay, I was trying to fix it. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I feel Lord Unknown is with us. I think the Lord Unknown just, just left. Um, I... I brought the cards down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I, I don't know who. Ooh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy your... Maybe this is like the seasoning thing I was talking about earlier. That would track, honestly. <gasps> My robes? Where are our robes? Or... Where are your robes? Or, sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Now that you've got your answers, you missed Ashley. Whoa, someone here is underdressed. He's too busy eating cake to care. I wonder if we if we could move the candles later on. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I'm on a stage! It's like I'm Aww. famous! She's begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Let's yeah, see. I would go too. These cheap asses offer milk for coffee instead of cream. 
Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. Well, say something! We definitely say nothing here, right? Uh, I... What do you I, want to do? I would. I, I would say nothing. I mean, yeah. I would Whatever. say nothing. It doesn't matter. Oh, what's here? Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Uh, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get-up. Yeah! You can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, er, good! Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night! What a cute opportunity. Low key, I don't. We can try. Uh, I want to try it, but like, bringing I Ashley. See if you can bring and uh, yeah, Ashley. Up I there. was thinking the same thing. I was about to ask if you're okay with reloading. Okay, let's. Oh, I meant it. like after, like, uh, oh. what's it called? Like, because like they already know, because like we were already up there, right? So like it won't, they won't force us to leave again. So. Oh. Okay, let me reload. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, whatever, you drama queens. Another smoke. Okay, so it looks like we can't bring it in. Let's reload. Yeah, so maybe... Maybe we can try again. Like, maybe now we can? Since we've already been up there, so she'll come with us. Are you done snooping <clears throat> on the cultist? Yeah, so... There's apparently a little cultist club. Where they all gather around for some demons and treats. <laughs> they got summoned for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like... You hear a car. It, that, that's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream! Did we not have the door locked? I guess not. Yikes. We really just went into a room just like that. You still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should oh, we just... he had a key. Oh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered what we did. Yeah. Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Your stuff is still in there. What stuff? You sold most of the junk you were hoarding. I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, it's like someone pointed out we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This one sucks. Oh, we better get going. That, I was gonna say, that's so real. <laughs> that's so real. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. <clears throat> Ugh, you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. It's amazing how our morals have uh, depleted. <laughs> she's, she's just, like, going for it right away. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's true. Yeah. That's not wrong, but... Ugh, and why is he still in the room? We're not even in there! Well... If I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um... Ugh, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, and just like in my vision, again. And you know this... how? I know, because that's what I do, duh! Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, trust me. I've thought these things through. 
You question not why she's thought about such things. No, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. And we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? <sighs> so I guess... Yeah. I was gonna say, let's go... Let's go, I guess, like, check out the thing. Well, whoopsie-daisy, we forgot something. Oh no, I meant like uh, go back to the cult before we go in there. Oh my bad. Hold on. Ugh. I think we'll get stuck in a cutscene. God damn it. My bad. No, it's okay. We can just reload. Because I want to see what she says to like the cult party. I don't. Wait, actually, can we? We got. St oh, I know we can. Okay. Because you, cause you saved, right? Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, so I did just, save. Yeah, so I think my we religious just, like, saving. We love a save scum. Oh yeah, if you don't go back to the cult here, you'll miss some cool stuff. I think I had to go back. Oh, oh thank you, Pam. Pam. Also, happy belated birthday again, Miss Pam. And congrats on your 3D. Yeah. And. Andrew! Fuck Andrew! Off. Yes. Why are we here? The hitman is in our hotel room. I just don't like the idea of walking into a room where someone's waiting to kill us. Oh, maybe we can use the main <clears throat> elevator now. It probably doesn't matter now, right? Why do you wanna, what do you want to do then? Why bring me here? <sighs> I'm not sure. Let me think. <laughs> Bro, they knew. They knew we would do this. Uh, I want some coffee. Then make some. It's going to be a long night. Let's not make ourselves at home. God, you're so joyless. Cute! Aww. You drink it black, for you dare not use any of the milk. God knows it's fit of s or full of spitterjizz. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that summer job left you with some scars, huh? There you go. You're welcome. You have no idea of the hell you just unleashed. By drinking coffee? What? Oh, <laughs> I see. It's the, the trauma from people taking from oh. the workplace reserves. Whoever bought this coffee will throw a fit when they realize others have used it. And why'd they bring it in? Of course people are going to take some. Victim blaming, I see, as per usual. You're the kind of person who'd eat other people's lunches, huh? Oh, 100%. I'm the kind of person who eats other people. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. <laughs> Souls is coffee. Use more grounds next time. Ungrateful and contradictory. Well, we washed it. <laughs> my, my, how dare you use someone else's detergent? How very selfish of you, you thieving scoundrel. Never once have I claimed to not be a hypocrite. Thanks for the coffee. Weak as it was. You're welcome. I spat in it. Delicious. Not really, right? There is no answer. <laughs> Did she? That's me. That's me energy. I just like leave it in the air and then just go for it. Nothing of value since then. The buttons on this won't respond without a swipe tag. Do we care? Well, yeah. I want to see if there's anything useful we missed down at the cultist club. Why am I almost starting to think you want to summon whatever demon they failed to call? <clears throat> Oh, I won't deny the possibility may have crossed my mind. Only the employees of a swipe tag. So I guess so much for that. I guess we can use the main elevator. And let's make a bunch of noise! What? A worker would have to come check on it. And then we can mug them and get their swipe tag. We make a ruckus and it's the police that's gonna come check on us. Are there even any workers here at this hour? Oh, 
I think here comes our victim. Don't you dare. Let me handle this. Huh? I thought I was the last one here. Hey there. Are you done below? Um, yes. Who are you? We're from a catering. There was some issue with the amount of cakes. Oh, er, that, that, yeah. Uh, one of them went missing somehow. <sighs> well, that's no good. Mind if we take a look? Um, at what? The carts were already taken by the catering company? Actually, didn't I see you earlier at the club? Like I said, I'm from the catering. I was here the whole time. Oh, right, of course. M maybe there was just a mix-up with the amount of cakes? That's no problem for us to take a look, anyway. Come on, then. Uh, uh okay. Right this way. Oh, we what didn't even get to go to the doing? other room! Aw. It's okay, we could probably walk over there, right? Maybe. Shh. I think we're just automatically gonna go to Oh, maybe we can. See? The carts are gone already. Hmm. I understand. I only wanted to see if the cake had fallen off somewhere. I'm starting to think maybe someone stole it. Go! But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It might have simply been misplaced here somewhere. Uh... Maybe we can go back to the front, too, as well. Maybe. Is there nothing here? Just, like, click everything, I guess? Oh. Where's the play button? I doubt the audio is controlled from here. Where, then? How should I know? Hi, Aki! Aki! How are you, my love? Good morning! <gasps> oh, we can sacrifice work. this dude! Okay. Well, since we're here, wanna give this a go? <laughs> Would you be up for it? Nah, I've hated someone a demon. Sorry. What? Yeah, I'm up for it, dumbass. Why do you think I offered? Jesus. Just checking. You're the one who's gonna have to do a talk to it. Ask it to get rid of the visitor in our room. Why can't you talk to it? Social anxiety? <laughs> for whatever reason, things went well for you last time. Alright, <clears throat> fine. Oh my god, he looks so hot like that. Oh my god. Hey friend, come here for a bit. Y yes? Did you find the cake? Say, is this blood or paint on the floor? Paint, but when we call for Lord Unknown, it's traced over with real blood. Oh my, who's? Well, we buy it from the butcher shop. Well, no wonder nothing shows up then. Why are these cultists so vanilla? The uh, what do you mean? They're summoning with stale blood that's been sitting on a shelf for who knows how long? Have fun working, Aki. I'll have good work. I love <coughs> you. I wouldn't show up for that either. I trust six size methods. Maybe you two should focus on fixing your catering. I heard if you offer your blood, all your sins will be forgiven. Where is the sea that? Not that I know of any thieves. Well, Lord Unknown said it. Don't tell me you didn't know that much. Some devotee. Uh, how much blood do you think it is? Hmm, well... Enough to draw the circle should be plenty. Uh, um, just for fun, maybe I'll do it. Great idea. Give me your hand for a bit. You cut his finger with your cleaver. You just had that? There you go. I guess Neat. so. Maybe wasn't he carrying it the whole time? I don't know. I guess so. I did not realize. <clears throat> yeah. Neat! I'll draw the circle with this. Then I'll light the candles. And don't forget the music. 
Oh, let's check over here real quick. Nothing. Oh. Imaging through the forgotten items you find. 666 bucks. Oh! <gasps> <clears throat> what kind of reaction is that? I was hoping for an ID or a credit card or something. You're not happy with that? what you got? I'd be glad to take it off your hands. I'll give you half. Really? Why not? At this point, all our finances are shared anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. God, you're so one note. My note is off key. Aw, oh, I know you love me. Less every day. Hmm. Uh, no. Scratch that. Well, I'm glad <clears throat> you, got that, you got that out of your system. Woman, I just gave you a small fortune. That fact should speak for itself. <laughs> this is this is my future husband right here. Here's your chance to get a signed copy of Demon Summoning for Dominies, Volume 666. Dominies. Oh, what a shame. I almost found out who wrote this thing. Why do you mean almost? It's clearly signed by... By, uh... Yeah, okay, I can't read it either. Even though it looks like your handwriting. Ah, oh, screw you! <laughs> oh, I guess, okay, I think we can maybe go up. Let's save just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got money! Cash money, baby! Alright, uppies. Oh, we can't. Can we not go uppies? We're going down, down. No, we can't go uppies. It's okay. We got six hundred sixty-six dollar dues. They really do argue like an old married couple. Yeah, they do. No, we have. They have to be moved. Really, this is some weak ass shit. They probably if these cultists probably don't know. They probably don't know the tea. Can we not? You're missing the candle. Yeah, well, you have to do the candle. Yeah, but I thought that, like, we would be able to move them. I guess not. I guess not? The, the music? How do we put on the music? Did I make a fucky Maybe. bucky? You shouldn't, huh? Maybe we need to speak to him. Imagine how pleased Six Eyes will be if we manage to summon Lord Unknown! We might even get invited to his inner circle! Oh, that'd be so cool! Huh, okay, well, we must be missing something then. Uh, maybe we go through this... Yeah. You don't have the means to leave. Uh... What am I missing? Well, okay, well the candles won't go out now. I have no option. So... Um... Mm. I don't know... The other room? What is there in the other room? Maybe... Do you want me to break out that guide? Yeah, maybe. Doesn't look like there's anything further here. Uh. Okay, mm -hmm. let me see. Um, go back to the cultist. Enter the door on the right that leads to the kitchen. Interact the elevator door in the top. Oh, area. never go mind. I found it. Okay. Yeah, it says, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Done! <clears throat> I'm sinless! Is he? I don't know. I mean, the circle is ready, but I am sinless too, so I have always been! Alright then. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are! Say, is this even a real demon we're summoning here? Of course it is. We're just not worthy of it showing up. Or maybe you just got lucky last time. Uh, or maybe you should fucking try summoning it too. Maybe it's only one per person. It could be. But wouldn't that mean the cultist doesn't know- would need to? Also, I thought they need, like, 
to kill somebody. I thought that's what it was. I think you have to offer the All sacrifice you're doing for is her. standing there watching. Ah. Uh... That's right. We should all do our best, even if you're not dressed properly. Which might be the reason why Lord Unknown won't hear us. Well, what am I supposed to do then? I don't want to end up like our neighbor. You buy some robes from the... Uh, uh... uh. Summon. It's that simple. Just invite it over. Just don't ask it something for nothing and it'll be fine. She has no idea what she's talking about. She's the one who got it done last time, so what do I know? You know what? Fine. If it kills me, then that's on you. <laughs> Demon! Come on, come out! Um, come on out? Say it like you'd actually want <clears throat> something to show up. Come on out! Come on out! <laughs> come out! Come out! Come out and don't kill me or her. Ah, Aww. the good guy's fine though. Uh, it's interesting to get more introspection from Andrew. Yeah, I agree. The Lord Unknown! <gasps> oh, it's it's a bit bigger than the last one. Huh. <laughs> Lord Unknown, I'm sorry! I'm sorry about the cake! You think he cares? <laughs> okay, that's, that's fair. The entity is saying something, but she can't make up the words. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Man, I can't hear it properly. Can you? We should have we shouldn't have skipped our Duolingo courses. We would have been able to understand. Right? You should have like at a two hundred day streak, you would have been easy easily been able to understand this. Hundred percent. Maybe Lord Unknown doesn't speak human? Failing to establish the means to communicate, the entity grows bored. Lord Unknown's presence begins to fade. Wait! Don't go! I've got a favor to ask! Look, you can take that guy's soul! What?! <laughs> um, well, that was interesting. Interesting?! You- you said- yeah, I know what I said, but look, it didn't make- it didn't take your soul anyway. So? So what? So what?! You- you bitch! What was that? <laughs> yeah, you watch your mouth, bitch. There's two of us and one of you. Bro, when guys get protective... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fun fact, apparently Lord Unknown is from a developer's previous game where you date an undead guy. Let me, let me google that game real quick. Wait, what is that game? <laughs> what is Hold that on. game? What is that game? This, this is real important. Lily. Okay, it's Nem Nimly. Let's see. Oh my god, he's so from... fucking hot. Okay, so, can so Andy Lily, which... Oh, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of visual novels. Jack in the Castle, Develithion, Better Half, Candy Scabs, No Good Noel. Ruth. Here's the it. Here's the itch. Hmm. The second the second one literally says No Good Noel. Ruin a friendship today. The Coffin of Andy and Lily demo. Cannibalism and codependency. Candy scabs. Cute and horrible. Get candy or get killed. Better half. Some loser meets himself. Develithion. Human sacrifices and jolly good fun despite what your brother says. Oh, there you go. Jack in a castle. Search for the missing king in a warped castle. Kiss dudes, maybe. I don't... Which which game is it? I thought you said know? dick in a castle. 
Better half is the one with self sass. Okay. This is gonna become my new favorite dev. Emily has one about. Okay, so better half is the is about self sass, and then I guess. Is there any other ones? <laughs> and I, I guess Jack in a castle or something? I don't know. I don't know. Just have to end up playing I'll all look. of them. No good Noel has necrophilia with an undead dude. Oh, interesting. These are interesting themes, but I like the art a lot. Me too, it's an interesting style. Mm -hmm. You're both horrible! No wonder Lord Unknown just up and left. Because demons, as we all know, hate horribleness. What is this guy, an idiot? Did you just now figure that out? You idiot. Hey, it takes one to know one, idiot. Who's an idiot? Ask the idiot. Forget this. Let's get out of here. Good! Go! And don't think for a second, I won't tell Six Eyes what happened. Who gives a shit? And with that many eyes, you'd think you'd have seen it coming. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense! Idiot! Why you? Why are we bickering like children after we failed to sacrifice this fucker? I know. Like, come on. We're going. Good riddance! Riddance, you can be damn sure we're never ordering from your catering service ever again! Oh, hey. Could you get the elevator for us? Ugh! Out with you! Man, what was that guy's problem? Us. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Well, wow, that's crazy that we could we could have missed all that. Well, we didn't make any friends. Demons or otherwise. Good, now you can focus on what's in front of you. Hmm? Ah, that's me. She's just like me for real, for real. Uh, oh. Mood, TBH. It'll always be me, like it or not. Listen here, you. We're in a bit of a situation, remember? The <laughs> What? Lily, huh? You said back there? I didn't. I said Lay. And only because I didn't want to use your actual name in front of that idiot. I'm fine with Lay. It's a nickname of a nickname. Well, I'm fine with Ashley. So that's what we'll stick with. Boo. Whatever. The names are really symbolic here. I'm guessing, like, when mm -hmm. you, you call her Lei, that's, like, you wanting to bone your sister. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking the same thing. You'll come around. <laughs> I'll wait. Mm. Well, anyway, that summoning was a bust. Oh, we didn't get further than the others did earlier. I really think there's something about you. Yeah, it could be that she's super fucked up. The negative energy. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. We've got a hitman to deal with. We've tried your... whatever that was. So, now we're doing things my way. Fair enough. Let's get back to the hotel motel room, pick up our stuff, and see what we'll see. Mm. <sighs> what a waste of time this was. Oh, I got an achievement. Summon an unknown entity. Nice. Is there anything more we can interact with here? Doesn't look like it. Well, Probably not. at least we, you know, it seems like we got everything we were supposed to get. Yeah, it's an adventure. It's crazy we that we could have just missed motel, that. Right? Just an entire scene. Or maybe it would have redirected us after. I'm not sure. I think Pam said that she had to reload to get that scene again. Oh, that's true, yeah. Because she missed it, so... All right, leave this to me. <sighs> this has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. 
Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one, or...? No, shut up and follow my lead. Okay. You are Ashley. Cute. So, she said that she thinks that the killer is in the closet. Yeah. Well, no one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Um... If we want to, because it gives you the option to save, right? So maybe yeah. we can try to see if we can figure, like, see if we kill the hitman or if we should just try to leave. Hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, golly, Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage, shielded from sight. <sighs> How's that sound? Huh? Terrific. Let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Yeah. It's probably smart. Um, Anything more we can do here? Uh, no. She wants to get her bra, so it's probably in the laundry. Okay, so we got that. Do we want to go see if the, the hitman is in the closet? I mean, it's the only place to hide, unless he's in the fridge. Yeah, somehow I don't think he would be in the fridge. Who could have seen that coming? Oh Whoa. no! Wow! Congratulations! You have found the hitman. And died. Which is the best part. No way! And for the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't fucking dead to feel anything. Hitman wins the end. Ah, yes. The world is much better off without you. However, this is also anticlimactic. Get a free do-over. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I guess we go back and get our get the laundry. Did we get did you get the laundry ready? Yeah, I saved after. Oh, okay. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air. And the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. I'm pretty sure we have them. Can we even look at our... Oh, yeah, we do have it. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So, I guess now... Um, we go to hide the... here? She said that we're going to the park, right? So, I guess we're we go to the park. Are we actually going to the park? Oh, this is the way to the park. I don't know. I was just assuming. Okay. Maybe... Oh, mm. maybe behind, behind that tree, I guess? Maybe? Is, is he coming after us or not? Or... I don't know, I thought he would. Um, let's pick a corner we can ambush ambush from him. Him from. What corner? It's on brushes! I don't know. An abandoned shopping cart, very classy. Uh... I mean, this is kind of... Kind of... Reduce, reuse, recycle. Andrew, let's get going, reduce, baby. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> you choose not to take it with you. It's understandable. Oh, boring. I think they should have taken it. Anything can be repurposed, guys. Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do save? if he just stays at the motel? I mean, we have a save pretty close by. That's fair. Well, I guess we'll just leave it then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching <clears throat> over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. Yeah, these two would definitely not use protection. <laughs> and on that note, that or she'd be the type to break the condom. Or like, like, she'd be on top and then like, slide it off without him knowing. 
Oh I've, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, two hundred percent. Not it. Oh, you know what it would? Okay, so Andrew would push mm -hmm. her and like pressure her to use a condom, right? And then mm -hmm. she she would be like, no, and then he just cave. Yeah, that sounds about right as well. What the? Honestly, I I feel like he they both would find it kinky <clears throat> if she like tried to sneak it <clears throat> or something like that. I could see it. You know what I mean? Like sneak that like that she took it off. But like they would both be in the know. They would just pretend and just think it's hot because of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. The the secret line from Andrew when he um says that he was pretending to have nightmares. That one was really cute. That was cute. You're making me do it? Again? Dude only has a knife. He got this. Oh, I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait. I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Okay. Uh, the spoiler... The, the guide says, by the way, that this is important for the incest out, the incest ending. Oh. For some reason. I don't know why, obviously, because it's not going to tell me why. But it's saying... It's telling me which one to pick. So when it comes up, I'll tell you which one. Okay, okay. But apparently this is important for the incest ending. Maybe to see what we're Did up to? Did he whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Is he a spy? <clears throat> this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. Nadia hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy, no! Uh, we can't do it here! What the? <laughs> Off I go! Come and find me! I don't want to?! Ashley, seriously! I don't know how this thing works! No peeking! Ugh... <laughs> uh. You are Andrew. Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer. And Ashley. Imagine if Ashley went to go hide, right? And then she hid right beside the killer. I, low key, I wouldn't put it past her though to like go hide with the killer and then fuck the killer. To be, to be. I could 100% see it, but apparently she's a virgin, so. That's true. Nothing. God, it's you. What are you doing, you absolute? She didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you or... No, shoot! <laughs> leave! Ah! Oh, cool. Oh. I... I... Maybe... I was gonna say, maybe he's behind a tree. So close. They were all close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Oh, we already looked at this one. Maybe, oh, I was about to say, maybe he's behind the bush. The or not the bush, the, the bench, but you can see through the bench. So that'd be a really shitty hiding spot. Looks like someone has gone through the bushes here. There's nothing here but a bunch of branches that have been bent. Oh, maybe he's on the other side of the tree. Oh, shit. Oh, first one! Not the exclamation point, just the regular one. Is he dead? Nice work! Ashley reclaims her gun. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you. But this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before <laughs> someone comes to see what's up. Well, then we can just shoot them too. <laughs> Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that?! What was what? You running out of, You running off out of the blue? What? You needed an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. 
Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. Yeah, but it was kind of melee range. Like, if he stabbed me, I was done to. That's true. He didn't <clears throat> know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bushes you ran off to? Huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Ugh! Quit your bitching, it all worked out. Pull me in next time you have these genius ideas. So then I can tell you off. <laughs> oh, the exclamation point affects the non-incest ending. It doesn't really matter, but the first one gives cuter art in some parts. Oh. Oh, I was just going off what the thing said. It was just saying, if you want the, if you want incest, go pick this. And I was like, okay. I give the people what we wanted. There's nothing more here. Can you go that way? It doesn't look like it. I guess we just go back. Oh, can we loot the hitman's body? Maybe oh, we can yeah, take his we clothes. Should. Maybe his money. Maybe he's got money. Can we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Is this not like a big brother type thing? Where are the cameras? Oh, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. So true. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Over the optimist. Ugh, oh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Car keys. Oh, yeah, oh, baby. Look at those fingerprints all over that guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never got your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh, motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Oh! That isn't required here. Wait, that's a thing. I don't drive. I don't, yeah. so I don't know. Well, I also don't have my license, actually. I only have my learners. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse, then! I mean, we killed him, so... Haha, <laughs> he's fucking dead. Bitch. <laughs> teabag him. Can you teabag him? <laughs> I can't teabag him. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not have the option. Maybe in another Lame. life. Oh, this must be his car. Oh, what are we, what are we doing in the back seat, bro? Yeah. Oh. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, "Here, Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us, and we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask." The less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. I bet it's a Toxa soda. Are we the laundry? <laughs> Seems that way. Are we... Is there stuff in the back seat we can collect too? <laughs> oh, Yikes. I think we yeeted that stuff. That was the stuff in the front seat initially. Oh, Meditate mindlessly sits to help the car seat. Newspaper cutouts of various incidents. Oh, that's the exact same thing that was before. Most of them are about your old apartment, both the tainted water and fire situation. This was also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled Low the key. words, same shit in the corner. Huh? Loki, what if the parent- Okay, this is just speculation. What uh -huh. if, okay, it's the parents that hired a hitman to kill them? Because we know- Because remember how they, like, kind of abandoned them and was like, Leave us alone, uh, we don't want yeah. you around anymore. Because I can't really think of another reason why a hitman would go kill those two specifically. That's unless, true. Unless, like, unless it's, like, the government trying to hide, like, what happened at that building. Mm. And not, and they noticed that their bodies weren't around. So, like, that's the only thing I can think of. That makes sense? I don't know. I did see a spoiler, spoiler alert. That, oh, like, um... You? It wasn't, like, a big thing. I didn't see details, but just that, like, I think you talk to your parents or, like, you meet them later on. And oh, spoiler. really? Something like that. I'm not sure, though. Oh. 
Well, you can still, you can still like talk to them and maybe, maybe like, maybe it's like a confrontation, like, oh, you tried to get us killed, like that kind of thing. Bruh, why is it so hard? Take the car and go? I mean, there's nothing more for us to do here, is there? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. I'll save just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go vroom vroom. Okay, vroom 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 vroom. I want room, you in my room. room. Spend the night together from now until, until forever. forever. Where to? My bed is gifted. No, oh, you're um, good. Could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. <sighs> this isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. What do you mean? You just stole, like, what, $600? Fine, That's let's true. go take mom's. For fuck's sake! Does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again. Remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave! <laughs> what money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from Grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Uh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something we've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems they assume that the guy took care of us and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Ugh, whatever. We'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents. Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob <clears throat> them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, then get lost. <sighs> I'll take it. Where do they live now, anyway? I know the police, but I don't know the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh, the only thing she told me was to stop calling her. <laughs> she probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. To be fair, we weren't really going anywhere. That's true. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. Oh my god, our passenger princess arc. I'm I am massive pa passenger princess. Me for real. Mm, I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? It's weird seeing Ashley's hair from this angle. It really is. Just. Don't distract me with anything. Dude, it's so hot seeing guys drive, especially if it's one hand on the steering wheel. I was about to say one hand on the, uh -huh, steering, uh -huh. the steering wheel and the other on... Or, or, hear me out, when they Wait, well, what did up, you say? One on the other on what? Your hand? And the other on, on your... The other on your thigh. Oh! That's pretty cool. Or like... Yeah. When you're they're backing up and they put mm. one arm on one hand on the passenger like head oh fuck like, yeah thing, and then like they look back and like their arm is like massively flexing uh huh uh huh, uh -huh. yeah and, and then you can see like their neck tense too yeah when mm. they like look back as they drive and then you just see them really focused like <sighs> driving so yeah just like that entire thing yeah. <clears throat> Anyway. <laughs> Ironically, um, just don't distract me with anything. I love arms. I really do. 
Anyways, sorry. Okie dokie! Right? Just like the whole like arms, shoulders, like I'm like, yes. Forearms. Forearms. Yeah. For me it's biceps. Like Both the are bicep good. to shoulder like I'm all about like shoulders, like nice shoulders. And like mm, yeah. I just I don't know. Chat, yeah. if you want pussy, wear compression shirts. You're welcome. Yo, okay. I don't I I, I fuck with a compression shirt. Some mm -hmm. people are like some people I don't I don't know about you, but like some some people some some people have been like, oh dudes wear like gray sweatpants. That's the key. I do I'm like, like I that. Really for me, it's not, I don't really, I don't, it doesn't really do anything for me. I'm like, wear like an, if you wear like, you could wear like any pants almost. almost I like the pants. joggers, just, the joggers with the compression joggers shirt. Joggers are nice, joggers are nice. And I was like, it, wear a compression shirt or just like a nice, like V neck, like black V neck tee mm. that like hugs your arms really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like form fitting shirts. I'm like, hi. Like, I love I, V necks. Right? And then you see the collarbone. Oh, fuck. I love collarbones, too. Right? A nice and ass like... on a dude is good, too. Yeah, the Toji Fushiguro fit. Just, just, just <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, my God. That is really what he wears, isn't it? But yeah, like, or I don't know about you, but I fuck with a polo. I could see it. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with a polo just because, like, Polos, if fitted well, they're they're like a fancier version of like a form fitted tee. I really love suits though, like a good suit, or like oh my god, I love when guys Ooh. wear like the open chested shirt that's like quite loose, but it's tucked in at the like hips, like they tuck it in their pants. It's so fucking mm -hmm. hot. Mm. All right, I guess yeah. we're playing a game. <clears throat> oh yeah. <sighs> I'm so alone. Guys really look so good in suits. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good suit. Oh my gosh. And then like loafers and some nice dress pants. I am I'm one of those I I'm I'm so basic. I love like the boat shoes with like with like a nice well fitted outfit. Like those you you've seen like I love like Oh uh, yeah, dress. like a linen shirt. Yeah, or like a cashmere sweater with like mm -hmm. pastel boat shorts, like pastel shorts, and then like the boat shoes, like the Sperry's. I could see that. And then like a, and then like you wear a nice belt. Yeah. Like, dude, none of these are good enough. What are, are you looking for? Examples? I'm looking for like the open shirt. You know? Oh, kind of like- okay, kind of kind of like this. I will admit, though, uh -huh. I think almost anybody- like, women also look really good in suits, too. That's true. Girls in, like, a linen yeah. shirt, too? Mm. Yeah! Especially with, like, a belt okay. and the sunglasses at the top of their head. That's fucking yeah. hot. For real. Okay, yeah, I get this. I'm not super into, like, too baggy, because, like, I don't- I don't know. It has to be tucked in, at least. Yeah, because, like, sometimes, because, like, if you're going to go that route, I want you to wear, like, a nice, like, well-fitted button-down and, uh, then, and then roll up your sleeves. That's fair. See, like, the like, like this one, you you don't ugh. see the, the taper of their torso in this one, and that's, like, part of the appeal, you know? Oh, yeah. French talk, bisexual talk, it's all the same. Um, <laughs> but, like... What's it called? I don't... I'm not super into that fit. Are you into that? No. That, like, it needs to be tucked in. Like, if you, at the very least, tucked in tight at the front, slightly loose at the back, and, like, it's better if you have, like, a broad, like, broad shoulders and a broad chest, because they can see that nice V taper, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hot. I... I just, like... I'm so simple. Broad shoulders, nice arms, well-fitted shirts. Mm -hmm. Tuck if you like tuck it in like that or like do a full tuck and like if 
And then if you have, if you pair it with like a nice cologne and if you also wear glasses, it's uh -huh. so over for me. This can be really, really hot if you have like the figure for it. I was about to say, I think, I think if the shirt was better fitted for him, I think it would yeah. look really good. Yeah, like just like a simple shirt with like a, like a neutral, like neutral tone pants and then like loafers. Yeah. Oh, this, this is what I was talking about for girls. Just like the, like the linen shirt like this. Yes! Or, or like this. This is so hot. I love women. These ones. Like that. Oh I... my god. I love these pants. Hold on. There's a specific... Oh, what do you mean? Hot. These are that's simple. Sexy. These are simple. I love those pants. Like I love high-waisted pants so much. I, for me, this is what I, like, super fuck with. Hold up. Hmm. Guys, we are literally talking about, like, three-piece outfits. They are so simple. Yeah, like, dressing nice doesn't have to be complicated. It's really like, not as complicated as like, you think. Like, some of the hottest people, just, if you, like, iron your, your, your like, t-shirt, like, a form-fitted t-shirt, <laughs> and then you just wear, like, nice, clean pants. Like, yeah, I will and, you send carry, and you carry yourself well, mm -hmm. I'd probably, I'd probably fuck. Like, I'm literally sending examples of the shit that we're finding hot. It's just a simple shirt with pants, a belt, and shoes. That's it. <laughs> like, how are you guys saying this shit is complicated? What? This is the most Fitness simple thing. Expensive. No, like, you can buy, like, you what's it called? Taylor. Or just, like, safety um, pin. Like... What's it called? What's, what's it called? Tar like, if you go to Target, Target has these, like, um, t-shirts for men that are coming, like, packs of, like, ten or, like, eight or something. Just, like, it's, like, a black casual. I think it's, like, Goodfellow. It's, like, eight dollars. If you, if that fits, if you can get that, it, like, if you get that and it fits you right and you just wear nice sexy also like, like very genuinely it really is like also what was it that steve harvey said he was like you just need like x amount of pairs and then you just mix and match and then you have six suits oh yeah 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 but it's suits are really expensive i'm thinking yeah. like you go but to even the, you like, can do this for regular clothing too though oh yeah 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 like i'm I, like i'm because like me i'm like thinking i'm like go to the target go to the walmart Get the <clears throat> nicest brand of don't get a gildan shirt because that shit doesn't fit but like get like the nicest brand of of like a pack of eight t-shirts and go go forth into the world and be sexy mm -hmm. you can thrift too there's nothing wrong with thrifting i love thrifting i do very genuinely i think most of my outfits i i do thrifting for i'm gonna squeeze um, like, a dude's ass I'm I was thinking, <laughs> no, I was like, I was like imagining like a well-fitted suit and the way like an ass pops. I'm not in a them. butt girl. I'm not. A I butt like. Girl. I like a nice ass. Like for on dudes, for me, it's your shoulders and your arms. Like, let me touch your arms. Let me touch your shoulders. And on on women, it's like waist and hips. I'm like, let me hold your hips. Let me hold your waist. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is uh, this is a funny story. I've told you this, but like in the past, oh. when I when I've gone like on dates, I'm I'm very much like a dude. So like I've guided guys by the small of their waist through the door after opening the door <laughs> yeah, for them. You have told me this. <laughs> and like they they would give me like the weirdest looks, and I was like, Yeah. Wh what? 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 What did I do? <laughs> I yeah. And that's why I'm single. <laughs> I, no, I think you're. I think you're valid. I think you're valid. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm. I just like for dudes. I just like let me. Especially like, I love. I find it really satisfying to like wrap my both of my hands around your bicep, whether or not like it doesn't matter. Like I don't. Like, it doesn't matter if my fingers touch. I'm not trying mm. to measure how big it is. I just like the way it feels under my arms, especially if you know how to flex it right. I'm like, ugh, like, I love it. And, like, 
And same with shoulders. Like if I can feel your muscles move under my hands, like on your shoulders for dudes, for mm. women. I love like hips and thighs. Love, 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 love. Like I just want to hold them. Yeah, especially in that that picture where she has the blue pants. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ugh. Ugh. <laughs> for me, for How guys, I, I like boobs. Sorry, what? Are you talking about chest? Yeah. Oh yeah, you do like that. I love huge boobs on the guy. Yeah, you do. You're so squishy. Um, I don't I don't personally care about, about like size of um what's it called of like your arms like I is like for me it's more so about like being fit rather than like size itself like as long as you are fit I don't it doesn't really you know change too much for me because like no matter what if I get to wrap my hands around your arms and I feel your muscles move and when you flex like beneath mm -hmm. my hands I <sighs> I love it. Ophi, no? Why are you saying Ophi, no in all caps? It's okay. Minnow's opinion is garbage. Just ignore him. But you know what? If, like, okay, if you're a dude That's and you fair. don't have, like, super large biceps, don't worry about it. What you do is, right? You yeah. just, you show off your strength in front of a girl. And then they will automatically, like, be bigger subconsciously yes. in her head. I'm not even kidding. And it will make you ten times more attractive. You're welcome. Say, it doesn't matter if you're like quote unquote like scrawny or like lanky or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like the moment you like show off like your your strength or like your flexibility or something, you're like ugh, like it's so. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I get you. I get you. So if you if someone okay, dead ass though, if someone brought a phone book to me and ripped it in half. I'd plow. You know what? That's fair. Not even a joke, genuinely. No, so, I mean, that's really you know. fucking hot. Oh, I should show you that one dude. He does like, he's like crazy strong. And he does like a... Uh, mm. He brought, like, you know those nails that have like the little hook that you can stick your finger through? He did like a one-handed push-up on that. On Yo. like a brick. I'll send this to you later. Remind yeah, me. please do. That trick he is a not real strength. No, but I'm gullible. So I would probably still think it's hot in the yeah. moment. I don't and care. even then, the confidence is sexy. Yeah. Confidence, confidence is, is so, so sexy. sexy. Jinx. <laughs> 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 it really is. Trust. Trust. Yeah. Like, it's... Because, like, confidence is so good. Like... <laughs> Man, uh, if you like, if you like, like the moment someone's like, I, I don't mind, like, I like the way I sound, or I'm working on the way I sound, or is like, I'm working out and I'm doing this, this, and this, or just like have some kind of confidence, <clears throat> even in just like the confidence in your personal growth and your personal journey is so attractive. Because mm -hmm. even if you, because like acknowledging that you like have insecurity or have things that you want to work on is so lovely because not many people are willing to acknowledge that about themselves. They just want to mm -hmm. be awesome right off the bat. Yeah. And like like self-awareness is sexy too. Yes. Gosh. Okay. I, I guess we'll play anyway. anyway. We were supposed to <laughs> I was like I was thinking about your bedtime and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Honestly, like I've been playing project zomboid way too late anyway so you know not the vibes it's ogre for you yeah it'd be that way put your feetsies on the floor now i'm just thinking about hot men anyway <sighs> the thing is especially with you because i'm never like this i'm not really <laughs> down bad type you know this about me i'm not really down bad i'm like an person but like the moment that like I start talking to you about this stuff for some, <laughs> for some reason it like happens i don't know what the fuck and it happens every time every time <laughs> anyway. we just channel it so much <laughs>
god. Because I'm really not in like any sort of like down bad or like inherently loose person ever. Even in like the most tamest of senses. But anyway. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'm goddamned if we get caught in dead man's car just because, we got pulled, just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Mm. Do you, or do you not, want to go rob our parents? I said, make me, Andy. <laughs> okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. Uh, uh, yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy and Laylee and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was just, I was honestly just joking around. The gaslighting. Well, then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Hmm. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Hmm. Oh, you made my boy sad! Well, are you going to drive or what? Just... I don't want us to get in trouble. You don't have to be such a hard ass about it. Cause you don't respect my boundaries! I do, though, when you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm- I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive. Through. Well, you can see little tears in the front of her eyes. Oh. And so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while oh, you wait vibes. for him to notice, <laughs> you're not talking to him. You fall asleep. <laughs> I get you, girl. <laughs> toxic, toxic. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. I'm wide awake. Wide awake. That was not my favorite Katy Perry album at all, to be <laughs> Fair. Oh. That's a Um, what? Who's there? Where are you? Maybe this is the other demon. And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. Uh... Oh. There's nothing to step on. Perfect. Maybe there's another pebble, like another, maybe one of the stone pieces? Oh, but so Maybe there's a one, a like a loose one? Like that one, so that one on the bottom left, that one looks different than all the other ones. The one with the three flowers on it at the bottom, that one looks different. Picked up red flowers. Oh, I guess we oh, just have to never mind. scatter the flowers here then. Oh, I thought you would pick up the rock. I was like, it looks clickable. No, we're supposed to step on flowers, not rocks, because that makes much more sense. My bad. <laughs> Are there no flowers for us to pick up? Oh, it looks like there are some of the top. Oh, wait. On the top right, yeah. Oh, tar soul. Oh, that's right. We got told our soul is like black as tar, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's true. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. 
The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Whatever, I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Do we go up or do we go down? Does Maybe this matter? Up. Oh, wait, I don't know. Hold on, let me look. Okay. Uh, oh my god, I have to scroll. Um... Head north and interact with the gap. Pick the flower in the south and then use it to bridge the gap. Okay, go left and it loops or Okay, so the go left and it loops around after entering the new area and pick the flower. So go maybe go left. to the right. Go to the right now. And then we grab the flower below. Oh. Yes, then we go down and then go back up. This is trippy. Nanikore. What the fuck? Uh, go left, loops around after entering the new area, and pick the flower. Oh, wait! Okay, go back. If you go back to the beginning. So, come back, go back to where we came from. Hmm... Here? Is that what go left me? Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck! Uh... Where am I? Everything looks the same! Oh, we need these flowers. Wait, there's the flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> and and then we go north. And then go up. Yeah, and then go back to where all the eyeballs are, and then put the flower. No, 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 no. Uh, and then go, go, go up here. Go up. And left. Yeah, and then go left. Go down. And then put the flowers where that thing is, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go to the gap and place the flower is what it says. What is? Oh. Mucky. We should probably save. Probably. <coughs> oh, it's you! I summoned you before, right? Hmm, how charming. Human. You come. Where am I? Dream! Call to hear. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. Yeah, you were in the middle of giving silent treatment. Be careful with the flowers, ruh -ro. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this creature, this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now? What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. I love this realism. The demon couldn't care less about the lover spat you're having with your brother. Oh, they were very deliberate with that word choice. He yeah, carries they on were. as if he hadn't said a thing. Use my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future. Oh yeah, that trinket you gave me? It's been very useful, thank you. It's Gollum after he lost the ring and he turned to alcoholism. <laughs> then, do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. Bitch. Uh... I am a little too tired. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make deals with the devils. Let's hear it then, what do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, if so if that was it, then... Not yours, tall soul. Is that like an insult or? <clears throat> Who's then? Just like anybody's? And why don't you get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. Oh my god, he also had to do a thing in order to summon us. <laughs>
he was like, I have to, instead, instead of like a cult circle, he has to like get human things and like maybe draw like a circle, like a, like a heart in the sand. Oh, you can miss something? Uh, thank you for the heads up. It's a good thing we saved at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, he can reach us because of the talisman. Even then, the Nerman can interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. Brocon prevails. If I offer you a soul, you'll take my you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll have to see what Andrew says about it. He's kind of... Um, uh, I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. Demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk about this. I will be right. Uh, right. Anyway. Um, alright, I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once, your mind returns home. Oh, what? I gotta huh? Uber myself back to reality? Fuck this! What the fuck? Are you serious? Farewell, Darzul. The Are entity is left. Let's save again. Okay, uh, well, I see a flower right there in the top left corner of that of that block you're on. But how are we so Oh, here's one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That There's one, more and here then... Too. And then I guess you build a bridge. Oh, I'm guessing uh, that some of these are gonna break apart as we go. I guess. So, oh. down and then go up? No, because then I think we need to get the other ones, too. You think? This will bring us up to the top, I assume? Oh, it did. Okay, cool. And then... And then we have to go get the other one. And then this one bring us back to the bottom again. Nice. So, I guess you place is, it? Is that everything? I think we've gotten all of them. Go to the left door uh, for extra cutscenes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So save. Ooh. The door is decorated with red flowers. Enter. Yep. Oh, this is why we needed the flowers. Oh, I see. Then this will bring us to the right. Yeah, I see how this works. Oh, and then there's a flower up at the top as well. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, present! Oh, there's a box! So I'm guessing we go to the right and then we'll go to the left, and then we'll have to go back again. Yeah. Bum 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 This like realm makes me think of like um Yume Niki if you've ever like is it Yume Niki? I think it is. I don't remember, but I saw like another inside is a lemon muffin disguised as birthday cake. Yeah, you it I'm pretty sure it's Yume Niki. It's a RPG maker game. I have heard of it before. It's it's interesting. <laughs> oh man. Kind of takes me back. You get lost in your thoughts for a bit. Mm. <clears throat> mm. I'm home. Oh, what's that you got there? My teacher gave it to me. Well, that's nice of her. She gives one to everyone on their birthday. It's not that special. <laughs> she's not getting paid to do it, so she's going out of her way to try and make you smile. Oh my god, little Babu Andrew! Mm. Hey, Andy. Yeah? Isn't it interesting that when it's your birthday, you have your classmates come over and stuff? But when it's my birthday, we can never afford anything. Oh, I've got some pocket money. Wanna go buy a cake? No, nah, it's not like my friends would show up anyway. Aw, no wonder she became so codependent on Andrew. 
He was the only yeah, one that was nice there. Like that's kind of fucked. Yeah, yeah that's like fucked. fucked. Like they they're always willing to have a birthday for him, but never have a birthday for her. Like yeah. They're always busy when I ask them for anything. Even when I haven't set the date yet. Uh, more cake for us. I don't know. Come on! Let's go get you something. <laughs> okay! Frozen cakes? Quaint, you. I'm on a budget. Yikes. 20 bucks for whatever the hell that is? No thanks. He watches Andy scouts the cakes. Or more accurately, their price tags. Mm, see. I've got an idea. How about, instead of a kink, we get the muffin value pack? What? Those muffins taste like lemon extract and sadness! Seasoning. Well, if I put whipped cream on them, you'll have a dozen cakes, instead of just one. Oh, he just can't afford a cake. <laughs> okay, fine. But then you'll also have to watch <laughs> Hyper Gore Splatter Brains 2 with me. That's age restricted. You'll have to ask Dad to. No, we still have it. We do? I thought we rented it months ago. Yep, Mom said just to keep it at this point, never to go back to that shop again! Ugh, what short term thinking. Um, whatever. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> this is an interesting birthday. Uh, uh, die, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, spare me. I'll never fuck your ugly whore of a wife again. My intestines. Why do you like this movie again? Because I was told I can't watch it. Ah, uh, of course. Well, Happy birthday, Lele. <laughs> thank you, thank you! I'll remind the mom, or my mom, to put some money aside for you next year. No, that's okay. Huh? I think this birthday stuff is fucking stupid anyway. Watch your mouth, you little shit. But it is! So what if it's been another year? It's all nonsense anyway. Who cares? Well, I, for one, care. And that makes a grand total of one person who cares. Fine. I'll just buy you something on my own, then. And I happen to like these sad lemon muffins. So guess what you'll get next year, too? <laughs> what if they stop making them? Well, they won't. But if they do, I'll make my own just to spite you. Your existence will forever be celebrated with lemon-flavored dough and preservatives. God, no! At least get the chocolate one! What? You like those better? Why didn't you say so at the store? Well, you wanted the lemon ones. Only because I thought you liked them. No, wouldn't didn't you just say you like them? I was lying so you could keep playing coy. Okay, sorry. I'll get the chocolate ones next time. Nah, these are growing on me. Thanks, Andy. You're my favorite lemon muffin. <laughs> so you pretend to like me. Nice, nice. <laughs> well, go on. Wish for something. Mm, I wish my brother loses all his friends and never finds love. Is she God? How did this come true? <laughs> what the fuck? She got powers. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. They're so normal here. Are you sure you're just saying that after this? Aww, he held her closer. Uh, the good old bad times. 
I feel like that's part of the reason why he like puts up with her so much because he he knows that like their parents fuck them over, or at least yeah. I Oh, uh, like zero effort to her. Is this? Can we... Oh, oh, were we out of flowers? Did we miss one? Did we miss one? I was say go down. Uh. Uh, it doesn't. I don't see. Oh, anymore. it just loot. It just. It just loot. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think we're good. Okay. Okay. Did we go through this door? I That's guess there's nowhere else. In. For there's no one else. I say the one at the bottom is the one we came through, and so I guess we go through this one now. There's still more. I thought this way would take me home. Oh, I guess we take all these flowers now. And good God, I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. Oh. Are you picking them up? No, she won't let us pick them up. No, we're picking a fight with whatever entities are live here. Well. Ah! Ashley. Andy, is that you? Help! Get me out of this shithole! Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass! Ugh! Do something! Help me! A kiss to wake up the sleeping princess. Ugh. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. You look so cute there. <sighs> there was a hero away from taking you to the hospital. Oh, uh, why? That would just screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did! God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Ugh, what time is it? Like, ten in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. A lap pillow?! <laughs> uh. Oh, baby! Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, he's so. got the ripped jeans look going. <clears throat> so, whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. Always the victim. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no. Scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Mm. Uh. You can't- you can't keep testing me like this, Lord! Please! You cannot do this to me! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna be okay? No. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like he could just like twist her head. If he just twists her head a little wrong, it would mm, snap. That's hot. So anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Sweet Home Home Invasion. Or the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Bro, this is really me fighting a losing battle, and they're just kicking my corpse around every time there's like a new CG of him. <laughs> well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, ooh, no thank you. <laughs> no, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Oh, free parking, that's why. Mm, Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Oh, better save. Oh yeah, probably. Welcome to the Bumfuck Nowhere National Park! Wow, why are they living here? 
It's kind of a weird place to live, don't you think? A smidge. Oh, what the heck? Let's look over here first. Nothing. Yeah, break into another car. Let's see what we can get. More parking. Okay. Fair enough. If Andrew wore eyeliner, he'd be even hotter. The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. Looks like that's it. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplate's on the doors. Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? <laughs> you really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. I mean... I mean, like... They, they kind of made that clear. I was, about, I was about to say, they literally abandoned... So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just a feeling I got. Hmm... Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Mm hmm. Check the plank twice when breaking in. What plank? Reason? I'm guessing this is when we get to the house. That's fair. Smiths. So that Smiths. was Grayson. Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Ugly what? Van McKidious. Chad, you live here? Jeez. Mixed waste and bio bins. Inside is mixed waste and bio waste. Shocker. Did you write this? Mm, no. It sounds like something you'd just naturally say. It really does. Uh -huh. Here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just find a way in. Hmm. Talking about the window. Oh. Use the plank check the window twice before picking up the stick. What? Window? Are we supposed to fucking tell? Oh, this must be the. Oh. Oh, the back of the oh, house. Come on! Look at this place. Got a garden and everything. Mm, doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Wait. This is... Oh, okay, so that's the window on the left. So use a plank. Oh, there's a loose plank in the fence in the back. So okay. check it twice, I guess. One of the planks is loose. 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 Why, mm -hmm. why check it twice? Some surprisingly heavy rocks. Oh, it checked the window twice before picking up the stick. Oh. Oh, I think the window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. There's bound to be something we can stand on around here. Okay. Was this the so missable go, dialogue? So we go get the plank now, and then we go get the plank, and then we go get go to the window. And then we set the plank, and then we go get the stick. Is that what it is? Okay, and then we go get to the stick off to the right. Check the wall. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> now check twice. No, 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 no. There's a stick on the ground on the right. On the ground. Okay. Before we get the stick. Okay, it's still too high! Lift me up. Well? Ugh, no good, it's open, but it's held in place by lashes on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it! Okay, now... You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. I... Okay, two things. First of all, no. Secondly, like I'd need an excuse. Oh my god! 
Ah. Now, hurry up and find something before I slap you. Bro! Bro! Dude, Bro! My guy. I know he said no, but like, what he said afterward completely negates mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. he said. Dude, this is like the most playful, like, I'm gonna slap you. Like, yeah, he's about he to slap her ass. Face. Yeah, he's gonna spank God. the shit out of her. I love that smug look. On my ass or my face? That, my lady. I'll let you find out. Oh my god! <laughs> the face, fine. I'll let- I'll find <clears throat> something to unhook the latch with. Okay, well, that's the... That's that. We got a stick, oh baby! Oh my god. Let's see, let's see... Andrew can pull off the milady. Oh, <laughs> Andrew Holmesy climbed through the now open window. What the fuck? Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Renovations are afoot. Oh yeah, their mother did say they were, they were having renovations. You turn the handle, but no water comes out. I wonder if the water... Um... Issue is here, too. Maybe? Meal. Welcome, oh. welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. What? Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Welcome home, honey. I'm home, honey. Mm. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. Okay, well, I was more romantic than both of them. To think you'd open a door so swiftly, and with such grace. I don't know, this would feed my ego. Even if he's being a sarcastic asshole. <laughs> yeah, but I would want to hear an I'm home, honey, you know? Nah. I, for me, like, it's, for me, it's very much like, I'd be like, welcome home, honey. And then I'd, and he'd be like, and he just like sing praises of me. I I love that. Even yeah, for but the smallest. My past. life of domestic bliss, baby. Yeah, you can still do that. You that's why you say welcome <clears> home. <throat> Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of time-sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then tell me later. Hmm. Okay, so... Um... I guess we try to figure out where all the shit is. I guess, I guess so. Time to steal their money! You find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Oh. Wow. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has it sorted out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I thought it was because we died. I didn't. I was just on pause until I got out in quarantine. Oh, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. That sucks. Well, tough luck for their daughters. Your textbooks and textbooks are in ashes now. Oh, but that says something that implies that they knew it was permanent. The quarantine. Perhaps. Yeah. I, I don't disagree, especially if they're conversing over letters. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is the back door. Why don't we just let him in through the back door, then? Far less conspicuous. Probably. Fireplace! They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes. This is some rich people stuff! Who has a fireplace inside their house? 
It's not that uncommon, is it? Well, not in older houses, anyway. But is this house <clears throat> old? Fuck if I know. Oh, there's a staircase. It goes down. Do you see that? Oh, where? If is you it phone up? your brother type never calls you? Damn. Here? No, 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 the other way. Like, but by the front door. Go up. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was, like, just, like, random shit. A bedroom. Why is there a, a bed? bed? Your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they've somehow managed to hoard all the stuff and spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life, either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer? Your parents are living it up. What the heck? Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. Steal How it. uncomfortable. Yeah, we'll Steal cosplay our, our our mom for Andrew. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, yeah. That'll be double incest. Oh my god. An excellent quality mop. I bet we're gonna use it to um, so mop up a crime scene later on. Oh, this one actually works. Floor dream seems a little clogged, but it's not your problem. On the table, leave some documents about purchasing a house. So, so key. Oh, nice. A metal box full of screwdrivers. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. They're just... They're doing, like... Th their house is so normal. It kind of makes me angry, because they left them in such shit, you know? I think that's probably the point. Yeah, that's fair. We can't grab a knife? A dish rack and a blender. Cutting board. Two maybe knives. there's- maybe in the fridge? Oh. Nothing in the fridge. Maybe they're the type of rich people that they never feel the need to buy groceries. They just order food all the time. That's evil. What? To be that rich? Oh, yeah. Have I ever told you about my peak richness? No, you never did. I want to be rich enough to have a drink fridge. Oh, that's peak. Right? That's what I'm saying. And I want it to be one of those really nice fridges that, like, you tap on it, and then, like, you can see through it. My dad has, like, a wine fridge, and I'm like, man, I wish. That's a dream. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you do spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It's the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Uh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. Oh my god. My chat broke. Uh oh. America. Three months ago? Holy shit. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. What? <gasps> Someone uh -oh. has entered the house. Uh oh. oh shit! Is this too early? They shouldn't be home yet! Consider shooting whichever parent just came in. But you can't offer the souls of the dead, so you hold off on that idea. Is there someone there? Really? He's just assigned to say hi? I don't think they would be happy you're, to see us. You're kidding. Uh, hi, Mom. It's just us. You're, you're kidding. Yikers. You're kidding. Inside the closet, got toys. What the? Our parents are kinky. He closed the closet. Honestly, though, I wouldn't put it past Ashley to to want to fuck her brother <clears throat> on her parents' bed. I'm gonna be real. Oh, welcome home, Andrew. What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? Um, it's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? <laughs> oh, you left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Uh, did I really? 
Here, let me help you with those groceries. Uh, thanks? You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? And the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. In the what? basement? What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now. Please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Oh yeah, her shitty coffee. Or a purse. What's in her purse? Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Damn. Oh, this is the washroom. Oh, I wonder if we should close this. Let's see, just in case. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, it just lets us in and out. Talk to mom before the coffee? Should we check the guide? It's been a while. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Dun, 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 dun. Go to the basement, interact with the letters, get the dresser key, interact with the dresser, then go left, and go into the kitchen, bottom left, and brew coffee. Interact with cookbook. Maybe, maybe we have to go talk to the mom for extra dialogue. It doesn't mm. say anything about talking to her and the guide, so that's why I don't really... <clears throat> it just says go make the coffee. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my <clears throat> calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. The least you could have done was it mail us dry food or something. What for? You weren't taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit? <sighs> Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Wow! Mama's busy treating her work uniform. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. <laughs> Explains a lot. Make, the, make the mommy bleach. <clears throat> yeah, so... Go into the kitchen, bottom left, and brew coffee. Putting away groceries. Oh, he's actually doing it. Meat, wine, Look like your, looks like your parents had a night plan. You brew some coffee. So, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? <laughs> well, first we got evacuated, and after that, they gave us the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites, anyways. Ah, huh. interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. <laughs> well, that would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. No, you're not. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, um... <clears throat> quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Uh, where'd you get the money for this place? <laughs> Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no. They actually do that stuff here. <laughs> Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, you'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well-liked. Oh, it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. I wonder if the parents are cannibals, too. They're barbecuing people. That'd be funny. I doubt it. Honestly, honestly, she seems more like she's the type of mother. She she probably had Andrew and Ashley really young, and now she's trying to get rid of her kids. Because, like, you know, like, you know those parents that try to get rid of their, like do like dumb stuff so that way they can have the adulthood that they never got to have or whatever i feel like that's what they she was doing i don't know I something about her seems like screams like <clears throat> narcissistic parents yeah i could see it it's true she does treat ashley very differently for, compared to andrew yeah i feel like um 
what was I gonna say? Something about her is... Mm, mm, I don't remember. I was gonna say something. I forgot, though. It's just, she screams that energy, and that's why she's so shitty, you know? So, but I mean, like, I don't know. She just scream like, she just screams that energy. And I mean, it makes sense, considering they have, like, a really, really active sex life, and they're, like... That's you can I'm see saying. that, like, it's everything's super fulfilling for them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, because, like, they have a very, like proactive sex life they are building this dream home and it makes me believe that what they really wanted was to get rid of their kids so they could try to quote unquote start over i bet she probably sees ashley in herself too and she doesn't like that oh probably and that's why she doesn't like her and that's why she was like just like get lost you know like if you were to be really really optimistic in this which i doubt given how like arrogant she is right mm -hmm. like you could say that, like, she sees how fucked up Ashley is and that, like, horrifies her, but <laughs> she's so fucked up herself, I doubt she cares. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, by that same token, they are still her kids and they obviously, and I think that they, like, their, their, some of their traits obviously come from the way that they were raised by her, I think. Yeah. Um, but, and, like, that's, like, undeniable, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. It just like it seems like she's unwilling to like try to make up for her mistakes. And well, I don't think she sees spend... them as mistakes at all. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's like I'm using the word mistakes, but I don't think that she thinks like <clears throat> I think. Oh, uh, like the objective she... mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think I think she sees it more as they are something that ruined her potential at living a good life. And they are the problem, and sh and it's she's not the problem. I wouldn't be surprised if she like low key tried to groom Andrew at a point. Yeah. Wait, what were they even Dang. talking about before this? Um. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any what. Oh, her cooking skills. Oh, cooking, cooking. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> The rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start on making some dinner. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. <clears throat> Mother leaves. <clears throat> nice. You are Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something you smooth talker you. I guess. Well, the cookbook is in the bottom left. Let's see. Where is she? Her bedroom, probably. Probably. Let's take a look see. What? Oh. She must maybe be back in the basement. Oh, maybe downstairs? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, why is she at the laundry room again? again? What are you doing? Don't you two ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> the very last thing I need to grow fonder of is that nightmare of a woman. Look at this little sun expression. Is that it? Is dinner ready yet? Hey, bitch. Boo. Boo. I don't know what we're gonna make. A sink. A sink. Uh, cookbook. Bo bottom left. I think. Inside the fridge is some meat. You could probably make something out of it if you knew what. He uh, brought us a cooking book for some organs. recipe. Oh, probably. delicioso. Yum, 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 yum. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. She probably feels so uncomfortable in this home. 
I mean, what would. is it? Are you kidding? I would too. It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch in your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I think we're definitely on track. <clears throat> yeah, 100%. I think this is like where you see Ashley revert to like where she was as a kid, still like slowly or like deep inside. She still wants that like acknowledgement and love from her mom, even though she yeah, knows it's like, not coming. You know how like, you know when someone like, feels you know really how, small? Like, some... Yeah, like, you know how, like, the <clears throat> strongest, like, sometimes, like, even the strongest people, if you take them to, like, the place that they feel unsafest, yeah. they revert into, like, Babu. That's yeah. what I feel like. This is what it is. Like, you can tell that she, she just feels like, even though she's so angry at her mom, she still wants to be treated yeah. the same, or at least, like, like a person. Yeah. I feel like Ashley just uses her anger to cover up for everything she feels. Mm -hmm. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Oh, it's... Okay, so I like this insight because it shows that <clears throat> Andrew was kind of, like, um, aware that their relationship was, like, becoming, like, sexual, like, romantic. Mm-hmm. You know, like this entire time, yeah. he's just like slowly been like kind of like acknowledging it or like forcing himself to acknowledge it given the situation because he realizes that everyone else is garbage. Or like, and like and like all the other and like all the other codependent <clears throat> thoughts that he has probably too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like mm -hmm. he, he was always codependent, but then like it slowly started to become like more sexual as they got older. And then like he could mm -hmm. ignore it when he could live his life right but then they got stuck mm -hmm. together in that apartment and they're slow and like he's like with the abandonment of like with their parents abandoning them he's realizing mm -hmm. they only have each other so of course like you're yep. gonna like enforce this like these desires as a coping mechanism oh yeah 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 definitely either way you let her hover over you for now found a simple soup recipe you'll need meat carrots potatoes and onions chop everything up and boil in a pot Delicioso. Wow. What about the carrots and the onions? Okay. Chop. I have nothing more to cut. Where's the... Where, where are the what? carrots? Carrots. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Doesn't she have a garden? Oh, well, you're right. Good point. Carrots and uh, potatoes and onions. Why don't, you, why don't you just go through the back door? Why did you go I forgot that was a back door. I forgot. <laughs> <clears throat> How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. Yeah, I mean, even if Andrew had a girlfriend, though, like, he still let Ashley do that. Yeah. Like, he's, he could have, like, ditched her after this, but he didn't. And he never will. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on. Don't get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this. She's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Yeah, I agree. He definitely wanted to fuck Ashley beforehand. But before... I like, don't disagree. But, like, the, the quarantine ruined any sense of normalcy they had. And, like, after they crossed, like, a certain line, it, it was impossible for them to go back. They were doomed to be like this. Oh, yeah. Let's not jump to that just yet. Especially if they, have like, were already super codependent. It was only gonna get worse. Yeah. I fucking knew it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure something out, all right? Uh, you get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Got carrots. What about these? Petitos. Onions. There, now we'll use the back door. Oh my god. You're welcome. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. curious did you use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients yes why 
I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Hmm? He, he must have gotten really good at chopping things up. Probably. You have to go for the joints if you're gonna cut up a person. Oh yeah, they said that in the first episode, didn't they? I think- did they? Probably. I think so. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Thank you, Sasquatch. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. Mm, that sounds like murder. <laughs> I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Ugh, so you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Ugh. No, no, none of that. They actually, I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really? Why are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you mentioned this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Do you want to be the dad? Yeah. <laughs> hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Oh, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? <clears throat> anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Here's where you can wash the dishes. Let's save. Fuck this. Are you serious? You should clean up the dishes like the good mama's boy you are. God damn it. This bitch. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Well, we already did step two. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor Graves siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. We literally shot that dude in the park. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family? Hmm? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. 
You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so and is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Mm. Okay. Listen. I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So, if anyone here is playing Happy Family, it's you and me. So, you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. I mean, I can understand why her insecurity is, like, acting up. Andrew was her only source of stability in her entire life, and now she's, like, put in a situation where she feels like Andrew might pick them over her. Especially since I think Ashley knows what a piece of shit she is. Yeah. So. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep up your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. I mean, she kind of has, actually. Yeah, she's just kept quiet the whole time. Aside from the Andy thing yesterday, but we reset the yeah. day, so it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Mm. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. Mm. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Just fuck already. Oh, fuck! Yeah, no, just fuck! Oh! <laughs> God damn, what is that timing? <laughs> Oh, so <laughs> She's such a brat. I love her so much. <clears throat> I, I I love Lily so much. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Oh, bro. He definitely wants to kiss her right there. Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just Damn. leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. Make me. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charge, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I, I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. You guys can be more subtle about this? Do you, wait, did you see her? Did you see he was touching her butt? Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you It's rewind time. Wait, hold on. I have to look at my stream. That. I have to look at my stream. It was a very important, very, very, important, very, 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 very important moment. His hand was looped through her pants. This is very, very important. Hold on, I'm also rewinding. Was I crazy? Like, am I crazy? Yeah! It he's touching her butt! Low-key, though. It's rewind time, baby. Hmm. Here, I got it. I got I got a screenshot for you. Oh, yeah, it was looped through her... It was looped through her, um... The belt... thing. Oh, my God. Loki though. Loki. Uh huh. That's kind that's of That's super hot. Me. That's super fucking hot. Yeah. Like yeah. the fingers through the belt loops is so attractive. <clears throat> it really is. Um, Man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, by myself. <laughs> what are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did 
to need something? Just like peas in a pod. What? I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could stay with? Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your twenties. I don't know how else to say it. No. What? No, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. <laughs> well, it's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There is just no room to keep housing you. Indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. Okay, mom looks kind of hot there, not gonna lie. I think she looks like a bitch. Yeah, but she's a hot bitch here. Not for- the th I can't stand that. The, like, I understand- like, I guess, like, for anybody else. <laughs> <clears throat> it's totally valid if you think that's hot. But, like, for me, if so, it, like, seeing that, I'm like, you already have a knife in your hand. Just use it, girl. <laughs> that's like, fair. If you wanna, like, if you wanna fucking look at me like that, then you better be ready to pay the fucking consequences. I feel, I feel like this was part of the reason why she, she, like, turned away from her children, too. Like, she saw they were getting codependent, but, like, she doesn't want to like she will never admit it's her fault even if she knew it you know and so she's yeah. just like disgusted with them and she like she probably doesn't even really consider them like really her children yeah like i i don't like i like i don't uh what's it called mm. like i think that like as a like a character like visually she's very pretty like the yeah. mother but I I get so riled up about toxic shitty parents. I cannot stand them. Like, no, that's valid. I it makes me so physically mad. Like just that look. I'm like, it, it's like, like who the fuck me... are you to look at me like that? Yeah. Like how fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? You think that you're all hot shit? Well, guess what? You're not. You're trash. You're garbage. And, and, like, what? For what? It makes me so angry. I'm so mad. <laughs> I think Ashley was just slightly more difficult than just gave her off to Andrew. I don't- I don't think that's entirely true. I think what happened was Ashley started acting out because that was the only way she got attention. And then it slowly started escalating because of her- like, her mom's own narcissism. And, like, the boundaries her mom would, uh, like, skirt. And then Andrew just, like, fed into it, too by never being able to say no to her. Yeah, like, uh, oh, if you calm down, she just- No, that's insane. not- it's not I that think, simple. I don't think it's that. I think that there's, like, it kind of goes be- like, if we take away the in- like, the quote-unquote incest part of this, you still have a mother that abandoned children and basically, like, both of her kids, and then, especially because they started quarantine three months ago, and she, they got the death certificates three months ago and kind of just, like, let them stay there to die off on their own. And, like, <clears throat> what's it called? Like, she, there have a lot been a lot of signs about how she favors her son over her daughter. I don't think that's appropriate at all whatsoever. And, like... I like I said, you can think she's hot all you all she wants to, uh, like all you want to, but I still think that she's human garbage. I True. think that she's like lower than dirt. I do not care about her. But that's just me. I don't I just I really do not fuck with narcissistic parenting at all whatsoever. Oh my god, it gives me flashbacks to my childhood. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fun to like me for real, for real. Oh my god, my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Rana and I shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real, for real. I will say though, visually though. <clears throat> hey, I think this one's on you. 
Oh, there's a tall order that after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. <laughs> well, it's amazing what money can buy. Once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can dig the couch. Alright. Good night. Good night. <laughs> well, aren't you going to bed? Stab her. <laughs> Do it. I'm, I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Stab her. Do it now. Uh, I totally get, like, the... I, I could see, in, like, different circumstances, if they weren't poor, I could see her being a pageant mom. Oh my god, she would be on... She would be. She would, mm -hmm. like, uh, what is that? What is the pageant mom show? Do you know what I'm talking about? The one with the little... Uh, Tiara it, something? T oh, toddlers and tiaras. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can like see that. This- this is someone who very clearly lost their youth, as Ophie was saying earlier. Yeah. Uh, and, like, she still thinks that she's, like, this, like, teenager deep inside. Yeah. Like... What's it called? I, like, it, The hot- just for me, it's like the attractiveness goes away <laughs> because of how angry she makes me. That's fair. But her kids are attractive, so I love that for her. Yeah, I mean, I'd fuck Andrew ten times over. <laughs> Sleep now or you? get out at once. I know, I, I didn't see it coming either, but... Yeah, I never would have guessed that for you. I think also she oh. looks at, like, hmm? Oh, I was gonna say that sentence is very, like, I hid my DS. Under my pillow, <laughs> under my covers, and wait and pretended to be asleep until my parents fell asleep so I could play my video games. It really is. I'm just like imagining him like under the the covers, and you see the light of the the DS. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, like your game he, boy. He, he closes it as soon as it makes a sound. He forgets to mute it. Did I ever tell you? So I used to have one of those like really boxy. Like remember the old like boxy monitors? Um, like. Uh, what's it called? They look like, um... They they look like these ones. The, the Chonky Boys? And Andrew's hotter. Andrew would choke me. Oh, yeah, those ones. Yeah, yeah, They look those. like they're gonna be sentient. Yeah, they, they, they kind of look like mini TVs. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I had that, and then I had, like, my tower on the floor, and when I used... I don't know why I didn't have the foresight for this, but as a kid, uh, we I when I went to bed, our my bedroom door would stay open um, for me and my sister, and mm -hmm. so I would wait a really long time for my parents to go to bed or close their door, and then to instead of closing my own bedroom door, I would take a blanket mm -hmm. and put it over my monitor and me, <laughs> thinking that would dull the light enough. Because you didn't have, like, brightness control on the monitor. No, but I used to do shit like that, too, with my laptop. <laughs> and, like, okay, like, uh, we used to have, like, one of those Mac desktops. And that's how, I, like, when I was, like, addicted to League, right? I would play yeah. League and, I, like, it would make the dung sound. Like, because it was, like, an Apple computer. And yeah. it would not, you could not stop it. And so I would, like, I would pretend I fell asleep. Right? When, when any, like, with when my grandma came on. by. Yeah, I, I pretend I fall asleep. And, like, sometimes, like, I'd, I'd, like, have to, like, DC my game and then come back, like, two minutes later. And I, I'd, like, apologize to my AD or, like, apologize to my support and be like, yeah, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> my, my mom came in. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would literally bring my comforter and wrap it over my, my monitor and i would put pillows around my tower so it would muffle the sound of the fans and instead of just like closing my door i would do that so that way i could play toontown oh my and god then... your toontown addiction it started when i was young i can't help it so um what's it called i yeah i don't know if i ever told you that before but I literally used to like, I used to do that with 
I used to literally do that with a full PC because I didn't have like a Game Boy or anything at the time. Doesn't surprise me. Like for me, when I did that with my laptop, right? Mm -hmm. There would be times when I would accidentally smash the blanket because of the the like the comforter was so heavy, right? It would like bend the like the screen part of the laptop backwards, and I would be like, "Oh my god!" Because I I thought like I broke it. I know, I know. It happened like every other night. No, that would scare the piss out of me. Oh my you know, I think at some point, like, I don't know if I ever actually broke it, but it was very likely. That's super fair. Yeah, no, that was scared of shit. I don't really, I don't think I ever did it with my laptop. I know that I did it a ton with my, what is it? My, um. Desktop? My, my desktop, but also my, um, my Game Boy. Mm, mm -hmm. I think I might have done that. Oh. Yes. Falling asleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Just like Dude. me, for real, for real. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> That's why I have to sleep with something playing in the background. Yeah, I always put like a uh, like a like a, a video. I can't do white noise because my I can still hear my my brain. Or our call me Kevin playlist. Hey. <laughs> that is like I think like out of all the things we have in common, that's like one of the most fucking niche things we have in common. It, it is though the fact because I remember shoot I just dropped ice all over. Um, yeah, I, I've been eating ice. Um, but like I remember when we both this is so long ago when we first discovered that we both liked call me kevin i remember mm -hmm. we were it was like the spider-man meme and i was like i listened <laughs> to the bed did you watch this video did you watch the most recent one like, <laughs> it, and the thing is too it is so it's so specific it's so specific especially because his content is very specific in also to go to style. sleep yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, like I can understand us both liking "Call Me Kevin," right? But then yeah. we both listen to "Call Me Kevin" to go to sleep. Yeah, that's true. It's just it's very specific. Yeah, I I remember you telling me about that. I was like, wait, no, no, really. Yeah, literally, <laughs> what I mean, it's us. <laughs> yeah, because uh... like because and I've been doing that for actually I've, yeah because I've been doing that for years. And Same. so when you told me that you did that too, I was like, what the fuck? And like, <laughs> and we would talk about like his old Sims videos. Like that's how long we've both been watching him separately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I listened to the Sims playlist. There's this one passive aggressively titled playlist and it's like, uh, I'll call me Kevin's uh, Sims, but in order since he doesn't actually put in order or something like that. Yeah, and that's true. <laughs> I, I listen to that playlist to fall asleep sometimes or I listen to Elder Scrolls lore. I can't do those. I have to have some sort of chaos because I'm. I guess I'm used to have because my, my I have a pretty loud family, so I grew up with a lot of noise all the time. It's like the and comfort. Yeah, so you get used to like um like when I went to like Cherry's house a couple months ago, she's like screaming, and I'm like I passed out. Ah, uh, her... feels like home. Yeah, I was like like <laughs> screaming, playing video games. And I like pass the fuck out on her couch. It was like it's like it's just like there's something about the chaos that's very mm. like. Because, like, if it's quiet, my brain is so loud. And I can't sleep if my brain is working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so. you know what? Okay, I was going to say this mm. earlier. I forgot. I feel like mm. the mom is also kind of a type where she, like, like wants that, like, perfect spotless reputation, too, kind of. And she sees, like, yeah. their, them being, like, incestuous or, like, being close to it as, like, blemishes on or, like, her reputation. It hasn't been confirmed, right? But, like... Going off the idea that she was probably a young mom that had her teenage years and her young adulthood, like, ripped from her, there's also mm -hmm. a huge chance that that also, like, really stains her. So yeah, she like feels the projecting. Like, yeah, so, like, having the ki her kids exist, especially if she's still, because she's still a young person, like, because, like, they're only in their 20s, so they're, she's probably, like, what, in her 30s or something? So mm -hmm. having having kids that old is probably still, like, really damaging to her reputation. So to get rid of them means her slate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially since, like, with her kids being gone, she had this, like, opportunity to restart in this new neighborhood with, like, new mm -hmm. people. Exactly. So it's very, like... It was an opportunity for her to start over 
instead of just like you know yeah oh, like i guess like i don't want to say owning up to her choices i'm trying to think <clears throat> of a better word for it because i don't think owning up to it is the correct term um having to confront yeah like confront or like um not no i think confront is kind of has has a sense of hostility to it i would say more so accept and come to terms with or find peace mm. with your situation i think is more so what i'm getting at that's fair you know what i mean because like uh even if you want like things are not always going to work out how you originally planned them to and sometimes yeah. you just have to be at peace with what's happened and move forward and readjust your wants and needs to still be able to achieve the happiest version of the life that you want for yourself if that makes sense I can see that. And I think, too, like, she really dislikes seeing uh, Annie and Lele in her life because she's constantly reminded of those mistakes. And she finds it harder to keep up this, like, facade that she probably has of being, like, a good mom or whatever and, like, all this mm -hmm. other stuff. Because she knows that, like, they bring out the worst in her. Like, she can't keep her cool as well. Yeah, exactly. When she has to deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like at least like my my speculations, like because like my I think my speculations mainly come from the idea um, that she's a young she's like a young mother. She looks like a young mother. I don't know. So How like, old is the husband? Is he groomer? I don't know. We don't really see his face. So yeah, he didn't even have like a like a sprite or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. Like, because I think there's also a lot of, <clears throat> like, a lot of trauma in having kids very young. Yeah. But it makes me wonder, though, like, if she. I they have a second one. Yeah. I was going to say, if she is a young mother, though, second one. See, that's why I was wondering. I'm like, did. I'm wondering so maybe... if she got groomed, some pressure into having kids. I don't know. Yeah, I think it could go either way potentially. It could, yeah, it could, we'll. I guess we'll figure it out. But I don't. I don't. We don't know anything about the dad yet. Because honestly, like, because there's a huge. Because like, like, there's also a chance that maybe like there were the they were like the popular young and you know, love, you know, but they like only the, cared about each other. Oh no! I was thinking like you know how in like TV shows they have like the cheer the hot cheerleader and the quarterback they are like the it couple and then she gets pregnant and so they like have the baby they keep the baby and then like they marry really young and then what they've kind of resigned themselves to they have another kid and fucked up you know you mm. know what i'm talking about like in tv shows and stuff how that happens yeah i get that also, also like, i also it, got the idea partly from glee but it's fine <laughs> explanations are not necessarily excuses when we explain things like we're we're just explaining our thoughts. We're not saying, "Oh, this is justified." Oh, oh, God, no, no, I am not just. I'm not excusing any of it. We're just like tr we're kind of like just speculating because we're not. I don't, I don't know how far. I don't think we've made it very far in this. Episode. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck do we even do? We didn't start playing the game till like thirty minutes in. Yeah, like I don't think we've played this game. I don't think we've made it very. Far. But like we're kind of doing a lot of speculating right now. So, oh, this must be in Nightmare of Andrews. Oh, we're pretty far in. Oh, we might be able to finish the night then. Oh, for real? Oh, okay. Oh, greetings, neighbor. <laughs> Hath <laughs> thou arrived to borrow some sweet <laughs> granules of sugar? <laughs> Wait, look, his limbs are in the different pots and pans. It's the one that they died. He probably feels bad about it. Just, just teeny weeny bit bad. Behold, as thou may witness, naught but a flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to compartmentalize. Oh my god, no. Aw, oh, poor Andrew. <clears throat> Genuinely. What ails thee? Like, they've gone through a lot of really traumatic experiences in the past three months. And you can just know, like, they never had any, like, help with this at all. 
Yeah, no understanding of emotional regulation or processing of any sort of emotion mm -hmm. whatsoever. Just constant neglect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very Freeze upsetting. Me. Oh, it isn't. This freezer isn't. Oh, so we need to pick this oh, all up, Oh, you have up, to go I pick think? them up? Maybe, maybe uh, you make a bridge with the blood. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe I need to pick up this one first. Oh, oh, I see. There's a specific path. Oh, interesting. Don't tell me you're gonna make me go back for every single one. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you sack of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, never mind. Thank God. All right, Ashley already cooked one. What? I didn't get to put my meat away. <laughs> That's what they used condom was for. That's true. Um, I guess you go talk to babe, baby, baby Lily, Lele. Can we even access her right now? Oh. Oh. What are you doing here? I... Actually, no, don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Oh, it's because Andrew, Annie, and Lele. Oh, maybe, maybe he has to, like, come. maybe his whole thing is, like, he has to accept that Andy and Lele are, like, always going to be part of him, no matter what. Like, coming to peace with that, you know what I mean? I could see that. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Clingy bitch. Uh oh. Stop following me, you little shit. <laughs> I'm gonna put this fucker up for adoption. Oh my god. Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great. Hand them over. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Uh. I'm guessing the guide says this. Hold on a second. Let me look at this. Let me look at this. Okay, okay. Let's see. Andrew's dream. Interact with the fridge. Collect four limbs. Interact with an empty pan. Talk to Lily. Interact. With the can oh, so we were supposed to light the other candle one first. But we couldn't do that because we didn't have it. We uh, didn't have candles. Optional. Hold on, I'm trying to understand. Does it matter? Option. Uh, optional. Bring Lily to the leftmost candle and interact with it. Bring Lily. Oh, and so we have to be nice to her, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't say. It just says we have to bring. It just says tells us directions. It doesn't tell you choices. Does anybody? All your incest sense? Okay, well, I guess we'll be nice. May I have one of those candles, please? No. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and you won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat. <clears throat> God, you're such a tool today. Okay, whatever. Can we have this one? Oh, let me get that. Lily places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Use your lighter to light the candle. Oh. What about this one? There's nothing to light. Oh. oh. Make up your fucking mind with this path. What the hell? What the <laughs> hell is this? Why? Probably are you? Are you? Fuck. Are you? They are. My dear God. What the hell, man? Can you? Can you go down? Oh my God. <laughs> you fucking cock tease. <laughs> oh. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, wait. 
I'm guessing we go. Is there anything the else room. to? Is there anything else to like click in the in Lily's room? This is so fucking oh, confusing. Oh yeah. Check the Who phone multiple girl? times. What phone? There's no phone. What phone? The you mean the TV? White noise. Even the new dreams. The entertainment sucks. Oh wait, there's a. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave a spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Ah. Oh. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. Get you your fucking pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Where Done the fuck it? are her pencils? The fuck? You reduce the to yourself to an errand boy for a Lele that doesn't even exist. Way to go, loser. Wait, is that it on the desk down at the bottom? Do you see those, like, colored lines? Yeah. On the desk? Maybe that's it? Who the fuck mm. is that? Is that, like, Lele grown up? Or, like, teenager? Lele? Sure. Julia. Oh, this must have been our first girlfriend. You've been quiet all day. What's up? Who are you? Are you the ex girlfriend? Our, I think it's our ex girlfriend, yeah. Then, no, no, it's nothing. Oh, or, um, actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. <laughs> well, with that much build up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> Uh, well, um, <clears throat> well, okay. Uh, please, please don't get mad. She reminds me of Hanako from Kato Shoujo. Oh, kinda. Shoujo, I haven't thought about that in a minute. When have I ever once even raised my voice with her? I know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if it's just for her own sake. <laughs> you know? You know? Mm. And maybe... For our sake, too? I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much sorry i, I i'm not i'm not reprimanding you I, I can't make her learn anything though no but you could like you know not always go when she asks i mean if your sister needed something wouldn't you go <laughs> This- this is clearly Andrew making excuses for her because he- like, it's shown here that he will always pick Lele. Yeah, always. Like, always. regardless, because he knows, like, he even complains to her, but at the end of the day, when it comes to other people, he- he doesn't, like, respect their own boundaries, even if he yeah. complains about his own being crossed. Yeah. Because he knows she doesn't actually need anything. Yeah, I mean- Good for her, though, <clears throat> for breaking up with him, even if it was kind of, like, over the phone. But, you know. Well, yes, but only- she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. So sorry, um, maybe- maybe I- maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. Guess I'm still shook up by what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. Oh, is this the girl from their childhood? Maybe? She was friends with her? Was she mentioned? I don't remember. I think. So that's probably why she is how she is now. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Yeah, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. N 
no, no, no. <laughs> uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So, I can't let either of you out of my sight. D oh my god, holy shit. This, this is the part where it's interesting to see Andrew from like a different, like from someone else's perspective. Because you see how manipulative and how charming he is here. Yeah. And the thing, the thing that really <clears throat> sucks, I think, too, about this kind of su stuff is like, sometimes, like, uh, you will encounter people like this where they don't even realize <clears throat> they're manipulative, and that's the part that makes it also really sad, I think. And you see it come out, well, like, every single time he needs to lie, too. Just how yeah. naturally it comes to him, because he's so used to covering up for Ashley. Yeah. Like, yeah. what's it called? Like, sometimes, like, I think, like, with those people, they get so used to it that sometimes they don't even recognize that they're doing it at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get you. No, Andrew is 100% manipulative. If you don't think so, like, that's just because you you have not examined this narrative correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you are very naive, and I see that as a naive person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even, like, the sweetest people are... Actually, I think the most charming and the I sweetest let him people me. are the most manipulative. Usually, yeah. TBH, I'd probably end up just being like, because like, uh, I don't know, I think I think if you're, I guess, like, uh, easily charmed by people, you get manipulated easily. Yeah. Regardless of whether you intend to or not. Andrew hides behind how bad Ashley is so you can see how bad he is. I agree. Yeah. I th yeah, I think that Andrew could potentially be worse than Ashley just because he knows how to mask. Ashley can't mask mm -hmm. to save her life. Because, like, she's so used to being able to display whatever emotion she has and have it enabled because of Andrew that she doesn't yeah. have to, like, she doesn't have to try to be normal at any point. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think it's, like, I, I think for me, it, like, to me at least, I think it's two sides of the same coin. Like, they're <clears> manipulative, <throat> like, almost at, like, very similar levels, but in different ways. It's just that Ashley has more of a shock value. Like, she's the kind that's, like, a lot more, like, upfront with it. Whereas yeah. Whereas he's, like, more the kind that hides behind a pretty smile. And, like, he's aware and more particular about the words he says, so there's a lot more subtext. Like, even the way that he's comforting Julia right now, he's masking it with pretty words and affection, so that way you don't realize how bad it actually is. No, 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 you, you guys don't understand. The thing is, Andrew could be worse for Ashley, and he has shown what he can do for Ashley time and time again. So if he gets to a point where he stops caring, he will 100% be worse than Ashley, because deep down, Ashley is still that kid that wants to be loved. Whereas, like, Andrew is so fucking codependent on her, but he's also, like, aware of, like, the rest of everyone else's, like, moralities. He's more yeah, mature yeah. than her. The the thing that makes Ashley... Like, I'm not saying he's worse now, right? But I'm saying in the future he could be. The reason why Ashley would not be worse than him, like, how long down the line, right? Is because... Ashley has no filter. She cannot process her emotions. Andrew can process it and still do these things. So well, that's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even here, he fucking knows what he did wrong. He knows that he's like, just covering for Ashley. Say, look at his face. Look at his face. So. Yeah. No See? matter what. See, and then immediately do this. Sorry. Yeah. No, I was gonna say like. I think, no, I mean, like, no matter what the, like, what the take is on, like, what I think, who is worse than the other, you can, like, all gener, like, we can all generally agree that both are pretty awful. Um, but, like, and you should be aware of both versions of manipulations and how they manifest in different types of personalities. Mm-hmm. So. Mm -hmm. he, he immediately like he feels guilt but then he immediately switches to charmer mode because he knows he has to for Ashley 
Yeah. Can you tie your hair up for me? Uh, oh, heck no. You'll pull on it again. <laughs> oh. Don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos. That's how much you cared about her. Oh, Jesus. Who is that? Yikety doodobs. Who's that? You hope to find him there, pervert. I'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you, bothers you, bothers you. It's your ex lover's dormitory room. You're fucked up. Ash is full of letters, multiple death threats. Oh, from Ashley. Collection of photos Scary. and cher notas, notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're, not, you're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Where's the phone? Oh, you have 127 new voicemails. Oh, hell no. You are not listening to all that. Oh, look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The audio has been distorted, but you recognize that voice anywhere. Oh wait, I got this. I told you to fuck off! I warned <laughs> you! Do you think you're all that? So special? You're just another hole, and you're not even- Julie doesn't deserve better because she got charmed by a manipulator. Literally, just don't get tricked. You better be joking. Is that it? Oh. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just an ugly cunt with a dead best friend. Hurry up and kill yourself. And when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. <laughs> Bet you would be. Is you're The sad thing is, she's right. Not like he loves me. I am the only one. <laughs> I don't even know what he has for <laughs> Ashley's love. I am everything. I am the secret you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night and when he needs someone to hold on to, it's not you he seeks out. It's me. Yikers. That's enough of that. That's true, he didn't... Wait, actually, did he know about them? Because... Wait, wait, what? What? Sorry, I was turning off my soundboard. Because <laughs> it, it said at the beginning... <laughs> so, it seems like he either didn't take her seriously because he says at the beginning when she confronts him, he's mm. like, that was you? To Ashley. Oh, yeah, that's so. right. I mean, it's his, I mean, this is a dream, so it could also just be him, like, manifesting the idea that it could be her. It's not, That's like, true. an actual scenario, so. That's true. Because, like, Well, no, no, but this is, like, a dream now. He's already had the information that this happened. That must be, oh, that must be Ashley out there. Probably. I guess, like, um... I, I'm under the impression that like he didn't he under he probably knew about the voicemails he just didn't know what she f actually said in them and what he's like experiencing here is him knowing how Ashley behaves 
he wouldn't put it past her to say this stuff. Hmm. So like, like it's like a uh, what's the word? Not an a hallucination. Um, like a not illusion. Um, a projection. Like a, a projection of like what he thinks Ashley would say, or like what he believes Ashley would say. Um. That's what I, at least that's what I, I am interpreting it as. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? Well, I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever, as a thank you, I'll give you a candle. <laughs> Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Did she say anything more? No, she's drawing, it seems. So Is I guess we can go we put like... Uh, I don't know. Oh, can we make it? No. I don't think so. I think it was just there to like fuck you up. Game's trying to fucking piss me off. Yeah, so I guess we can put the other candle now in the other thing. At least I'm with the candle. Ooh. Oh, shit. That escalated. Oh, that's the... Think? Those are the wardens and then... The, cult. Um, is, wait, is that a... No, that's the killer. Yeah. And then the lady at the bottom, I guess. I don't remember who she was. She's the hot lady. Mm, I don't think anyone would care. You killed this one to protect Ashley, no regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you. This one was always leering at her. Never mind, there's one regret. Wish she could have killed him slower. Dang. Dude. <laughs> there you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured it's you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. Hmm, that is true. So, are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lily to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. I guess the Does it matter who we choose here? Uh do you want me to check? I feel like it's important we choose one of these two. Yeah. Yeah. Um Let me see, hold on. Let me scroll. It doesn't matter. Uh interact with the less most Carolara, interact with the Stop. Yeah, okay, so it just says pick a body, it doesn't matter. Boobity bob bop. Pass over them. Yum, 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 yum. Well met, young graves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn, I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed how thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. V possesses of an absent limb, yet it doth not long belong to me. Perchance, tis of little consequence to thee. You obnoxious fuck. What the fuck? I guess just put it in the freezer. You have to limb warden number one or no incest ending? What? Is that true? Just in case. No, it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh well, we're already here. Alright. I'm timing you out, you little shit. Your honeyed lies. There you go. Get put in prison. Oh, we don't need to do all this shit. Eh. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure it's faster skipping. Nice. See, this is why we save scum. I'm using controller. Oh. Isn't that the... Yeah, that's from with... Mirror Kid. Wait, go, go click on it again? Maybe something will happen? Oh. Go click on it again. I don't want to confront what my wrongdoings, though. Rise and shine, Mina! <laughs> Did you have a fun night? Dude, she's so dead. <clears throat> There's no answer. Huh, I guess she's still sleeping. Mm, yeah, she's sleeping for a long time. I wouldn't call it that. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't! You open the crate. <laughs> oh, oops. Wait, heat, what? Is she dead? What? Did... What? That can't be right! What is going on? Whatever. You're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Sh shut up! Just shut up! Forget this, let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't! Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingers' nails split if she was there willingly? Wow, I just want to say, it's crazy how observant and thorough Andrew is, even right now. Yeah, it's super fair. It's not like anyone knows she's here, let's just leave her. No! She'll- It'll start rotting! And someone will come looking and find her. Their family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. Even now! So, what do we do then? Um... I... F fuck! Let's just hide it then. <gasps> if no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lily! They'll find the body and they'll know! And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life! Me too, it's fine if it's the both of us. No, no you fucking idiot! You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me! How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> this doesn't come as a surprise to me at all. <laughs> You figure something out then, since you're so smart. I, I feel like, rather than... I do think that Andrew mostly fears the consequences rather than feeling bad. I think that Andrew wants yeah. to feel bad so he can have a sense of normalcy, but he knows, like, that's not gonna happen for him. He knows that he's, like, probably just as fucked up as Lele. Oh, 100%. Okay. Okay. Let's just... Like, move her somewhere? Yes! A grave! L let's dig up a grave for her! Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, th there is probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carrying her there. Morbid curiosity compels you to take a better look. Instant regret. I guess we'll just grab a tarp or something. This will have to do. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks work too. 
I mean, they're kind of shovelly. Just watch for splinters. The gray siblings digging, digging up a grave. True. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy, easy to dig spot. The corpse is wrapped inside the tarp. Oh, oh, there you go. Maybe here? There don't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. <sighs> yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A uh, grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She just fits She fits here just fine. Uh, okay. Fine. Try talking to Ashley before burying the body. Hey, what do you want to eat today? Uh... What? What's for dinner tonight? Uh... Uh... I was going to fry some fish sticks. Nice! <sighs> you and Lily push the body into its grave. This doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this... This obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden, too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and stuff? That was a fucking rock. What do you mean I got foliage? <laughs> You're not fooling me, buddy. Some more foliage is needed. Oh, mm. shove it up your ass. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all going to get blown away by the next breeze. Can we put rocks? <sighs> There's gotta be something to hold them in place. Rocks. Rocks! Give me the fucking ro Give me the rocks! Okay. Nice, makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. Ugh. What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't! Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Hmm. Let's forget all about it. Lele, I need you to know you won't say anything. To anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You see one thing and do another. Promise me that this time, you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll even say your name. I'll never even say your name ever again. Oh, I guess that's why her name was blurred out. What was it anyway? I don't even remember it. Ugh. There, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> if you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about it. <laughs> Who's gonna play with you if I'm not in, if I'm in jail? Mm. I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. <laughs> I, I, I get the vibe that Andrew's secretly the really, really controlling one, but he likes being, like, under Ashley, it is I Ashley's mom. I was about mom. to say, I have, I have that same, it, like, instinct. Um, <laughs> it's just like a feeling. <clears throat> it's just a really, really long, like, not long, a really strong feeling. 
that he's the one he knows he's the one leading the charge she's like every now and again he likes uh like he's the one driving the car but he doesn't mind if randomly she'll decide to grab the wheel and turn it all of a sudden and yeah, then in order for her to like put it back he just kind of has to do what he says for a little bit i mean the thing is andrew knows like as unpredictable as unpredictable as Layla can be right he knows that she's unpredictable he knows that like she's gonna take every opportunity she can to tie him to her and mm -hmm. he likes being tied to her and like if he, she ties him to her he doesn't have to feel like she's like he's doing it to her does that make sense yeah i understand what you're saying basically to chat if he allows lele to do like do the really toxic things and feel like mm -hmm. she's like tying his existence to her and making him codependent he doesn't have to deal with the fact that he actually really likes it and he wants that himself regardless so. yeah <clears throat> otherwise you'll be all alone in prison no i don't think it's that andrew doesn't mind he likes it i am your best friend from now on you already were lily don't lie to me I'm not pink whatever it's you and me now no one f you because you're bad like for example that whole thing where he i i would not be surprised if there was ever a flashback where it turned out that 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 girl in the apartment right mm -hmm. he let her go on purpose so he would be forced to kill her i can see that yeah Mm. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. That's fine, because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could've just... I know you don't like me! Mm. Andy, I know. That doesn't matter <clears throat> anymore, because from now on, no one will... So let's always be friends. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Mm, be my friend. Or else. Uh, I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? <laughs> well, let's, then from now on, let's always be together. Mm. I feel like Andrew also has this really like bad self-loathing where he feels like the only person who will accept him anyway is Lele, and that's why he continually self-sabotages his own relationships. Yeah, I can see that as well. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Ugh. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? Can't seem to eat anything lately. Um, um, oh, wait. So why do I have about the jam thing in the strawberry again? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you about anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you see anything? Nope, I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because her and someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was gonna come to dad. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. 
But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so it, do I doubt she had any idea? Promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yeah. I'm a jackass. Ah, uh, wait. I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It's never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> this is some this is some powerful Delulu right here. <laughs> she said, I was born with the Delulu juice. I drank the Delulu juice. I think and <laughs> mm -hmm. my parents proceeded to continue to give me the Delulu juice. I don't know how Andrew was raised. Like, it, it's clear that he was treated yeah. better, right? But, like, I feel like because he cared so deeply for Ashley, her neglect was, like, extended onto him in the sense that he felt her neglect almost as if it was his own. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and then, like, agree with that. Like, the, the feeling of being relied on by Ashley, you know, and being important to someone, he, he felt <sighs> like... How do I put this? <clears throat> like, even if his parents neglected him through Ashley, right? Mm -hmm. He he would feel like he has someone in taking care of her. And he yeah. feels like the need to, like, latch on to that relationship as much as uh, I'm still he confused. possibly could. If we're going with the, like, young mom thing, why does she have a second kid? I don't know. I guess we'll find out at some point, but I'm still, like, stuck on that part. That's, like, really confusing still. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, shit. Can we interact with, like, all the things here? Oh, maybe you can go out into the balcony? Oh, a knife? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, go, go outside. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's dead. Uh, I guess we'll go back to square one. Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't look like we can. Oh, go you can't go here. in there. Teddy? Like you got the... Someone's being interviewed on TV. Your success story is such an inspiration to us all. Before starting your soda company, you used to be a surgeon, isn't that right? <laughs> That's right, Mark. I'm actually a doctor. So trust me, one can of toxic soda a day keeps me far, far away. Haha. <laughs> when even what a doctor kind of, doesn't. Hmm? What kind of apocalyptic ass thing is this? I don't know. But that's the brand that they mentioned before. Yeah, it makes. I just don't understand. Like, are they in the apocalypse? What is this? What is this, like, this weird dystopian, dystopian. like, society of fucked up shit? Yeah. Water several water distribution companies. Oh! I hope this is the start of a long-lasting friendship. So this is how it started. It the seems. people on the TV ramble on and on. You're relieved there's absolutely nothing about any dead girls being found. I guess maybe on the balcony, since it seems to be open. Papa? Oh, it's the dad. Hello, son. Uh, hi, dad. Hmm. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Bye, Dad. Oh, no, 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 I'm not jumping. Huh? Right, it's just a job. You can always find another. Mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I Wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. Uh, I'll go see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Never mind, he was neglected too by his papa. <laughs> Yo, don't... What the fuck was that? <laughs> Jeez. Yikers. Oh, can you go out the front door? There's no need to leave the oh, house. Never mind. A cop block. He literally forgot his son his son's name. That was some whack shit that we just 
experience. Dude, like okay. I, I tweeted about this like a couple months ago, right? But my mom cycled through two of our dog names, two of our dog's names, my sister's name before she got to my name when she was calling for me. I get that. I was like, what the fuck? I can understand my sister, but the dogs? All right. Uh, we live, we, we exist in a society. Um, what are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. <laughs> I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you will have to promise me something too. Okay? Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. And what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Hold on, I need to go to the washroom. My stomach is... Ugh. Oh no, you're good. Here we. Ooh, excuse me. Oh god. Yeah, no, I've also had that issue. I, I have the issue with my the way that people spell my name. None of my relatives spell my name right. Every every birthday card, every Christmas card, every holiday card. Like, um, it's never been spelled correctly, ever. Never, never once been spelled correctly. I also get the, uh, my family's really large, so I kind of got used to being called the wrong thing all the time. Um, because I've talked about this before, uh, on, like, my channel, but my, my, my mother's the youngest of 11, so you kind of get used to being called the wrong name and just responding to the wrong name all the time. So, so you kind of just like, you kind of, I guess like you kind of get it, you like used to it, I guess. Yeah, 11. My mom is the youngest of 11. So like my, so like I have like aunts and uncles that are like old enough to be my grandparents and like they were probably more of my grand, like my grandparents grandparents I'm so sorry I'm sorry about that about what having a big family no I I love I love having a big family it's just something that like I'm used to I guess because like um, my mom's the youngest of 11 and um I want to say that I and from each one of my mother's siblings I have it I have like cousins and then some of those cousins have kids. And so you can only imagine where this where this is going. So like I've tried to count all of my cousins before. And I think I start to get lost around 30 something. And these are all like first cousins, like immediate cousins, not like including not including like second cousins or cousins that got I'm back. Welcome back. I'm talking about how big my family is. So I'm how it's like, I, so I'm used to like, uh, this, like the cycle through every. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know this, my mom's the youngest of 11. So I have like a big as fuck family. Cause I have thousands of cousins. And once, and you get used to just being called the wrong thing all the time. <sighs> yeah, I get you. Although we yeah. in my household, it, luckily it's not too many, but I can imagine for you, you're just sitting there like the loading on your head. <laughs> yeah, at some point I just stopped calling people's name, calling people by their name. Mm, oh, hi, it's good to see you. Mm, uh, yes, I know. I've, I've so much since you last saw me. Mm, uh, good to see you. Yes, I don't live in this house anymore. Mm, uh, I'm 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 just here to visit. Mwah. You get used to it after a while. <laughs> <laughs> and cuz like um 
they always spell my name wrong. At some point, you just kind of have to accept that they know who you are. They just don't know your name. <laughs> it's easy. Like, you would think it's easier when they default to, like, a knock. You know? Ye yeah. I, I mean, like, not. I have a family nickname, but, like, I don't... Um, only some cousins call me that. Um... So, but you know, it, you, it, I, for me, I guess it's just, I, I'm so used to it. <laughs> I'm so used to all of it. So I'm like, ah, yeah. mm. I'm used to it, but it's never been that bad before. Cause it, it's only like, um, like my sister, my mom and I, so it's usually yeah. just like, she just calls me by my sister, by my sister's name. But then like, since we now are a three dog household, mm -hmm. it's gotten even worse. She even yells at the wrong dog all the time. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, like, I... Mm. I was just gonna say that she'll always yell at my dog, but it's actually my sister's dog who's, like, starting shit. Wait, so you guys, like, just... Because, like, for, so for... I think for, like, a, at least in, for my family, like, we, mm. we all have, like, similar endings to our names. So, like, Ophelia, Amelia, and so, like, for... For us, like, a lot of people, a lot of us get confused because the endings are the same. So, like, you just hear the, 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 uh, at the end of the name, and then you hear, like, 20 different people go, What? What? Did you call me? Huh? Hello? Did you call me? Who? No, all of ours are different. All of ours are different. <laughs> That's what happens for me. There's no excuse in my household. Oh, that sucks. That's why That's it's like, even worse. That is <clears throat> awful. Gen like, genuinely. It you cut out. She's dead. Hello? Am I dead? Okay, you're back, oh, you're back. Oh, the reason- Okay, I see it now. I see the reason why I keep getting cut- You say as you cut out? It's because Discord keeps disconnecting me and reconnecting me. I'm, like, looking at my bars on the thing. It, get, it goes down to red, and then it comes back up to green sometime. Are we almost done? Episode 2, by the way? Um, according to this, we are, according to the walkthrough, we're half through. What the fuck? Or, no, 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 not halfway through. Oh, uh. So we're coming close to the end, according to this. We just have to, because cause after, so it says Andrew's dream, and then the, and then parents home part two, and then it, uh, it says like the different types of route choices. Hmm. Um. And then, and then I, so I guess that's it. So I guess we're almost done. Do you want to try and finish, or do you, do you want to go to bed? I know it's late for you. Um... How... how much... You see, you guys stay like an hour left, but with us, that's like two to three hours. Yeah, I was about to say, I... You cannot trust us. <laughs> uh... I... How much longer do you guys chat, do you guys think is left? You can do both endings if you do another stream. Oh, we could do that. That's true. Yeah. Should we just finish this um this dialogue? And then wrap it up? I'm okay to go longer, but it is up to you. I this would be my this would be my second five hour stream in the day. So okay. I don't know. Let's, if let's, I let's finish have it up. I don't I love <laughs> you so much, but I don't know if I have the capacity to do that twice. No, I've been up since like 7 a.m. <laughs> Oh yeah, so. you told me that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going for the good ending. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the, the true ending. Ha ha ha. To be honest, like the incest ending makes so much sense for them. But I mean, I don't know the other ending. I don't so. know anything about the other ending. I know. I'm on I'm on a normie sleep schedule right now. It's disgusting. How else I... am I supposed to be self-loathing? I think that's a good thing to be on a normie sleep schedule. Okay, you take that back right now. You're talking to the one who has a normie <laughs> sleep schedule. 
<laughs> so I can't, I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. I, I wish I, you know, I wish I had your sleep schedule, Rana. Do you want the DJ sleep schedule of like sleeping at like 7 a.m.? No, because the last time I tried to do that, I hated myself. I'm, I, I remember I had a DJ sleep schedule for a minute. I would go to bed at like, oh God, what was I doing? I would go to bed at like four or five o'clock in the morning and then wake up at like 11, like at like noon, 11 o'clock to noon. And I was so miserable. It was great because I was spent getting a chance to spend time with my friends because a lot of them are were like DJ hour type people, but it was so not worth it. Was this um, like last year? No, I mean, I... No, last year, last year I was a lot more stricter about my my schedule. No, this was like probably like the first year that we met. Because I was like, I swear there was like a period that I knew you and you had like a fucked up sleep schedule. Yeah, that was probably when I was like super unga bunga depressed. And I was having a really hard time sleeping because you know how that fuck like <laughs> I can't sleep when yeah. I'm super fucked up. Um, yeah, so it was probably around that time. Um, but I was thinking, I, I like, uh, yeah, I just, I was so miserable. Like, if I, so, like, I, I usually, I've, I've come to find, like, a good medium where, like, because, like, uh, after I did that, I switched to going to bed at, like, 1030, which is what you got used to from me. Mm. But I started, but then I, like, pushed it to, like, 12. 30, which I think is pretty decently manageable. So that way I can still kind of be on DGen hours. Yeah. But then also still get sleep. <laughs> I because I, I can't. I can't do it. That's fair. So, it, you you tend to feel like shit, honestly. Yeah, but some people manage to do it pretty decently. Do I you, flip flop. I was going to say, do you like feel affected by having a DGen sleep schedule at all? Genuinely asking. Uh, well, the thing is, I'm more productive during the nighttime usually. Mm, uh, it also I depends. Wish. Like sometimes, like I tend to like rope people into my DJ schedule to hang out mm. with me, <laughs> and so That's they fair. end up suffering with me. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's, it's not bad. I wish. I wish it was like that. Like, I, I. It has to be like bright as fuck in order for me to feel um like i can be productive because if even even if it's like sl like slightly cloudy i feel like i can't get any work done that's but then again i also like that's what i have a therapy life for i am toxic low-key okay like i have a friend and this friend i i wrote them into like a bunch of calls right and they were staying up way like past their normal sleep schedule and I feel bad because I ended up getting sick. <laughs> they actually <laughs> ended up getting um, sick. They've been sick for like the past week. Damn, big Fs. Well, that's what happens. That's what happens when you, uh, I mean, to be, fa to be fair though, like at some point, at some point, right? What At what point is it you and what? You know what I mean? Wait, is it what? At what point is it you and at what point is it their choice like that they're choosing to stay up to vibe you know what i mean i'm not like, forcing anyone guys okay you're still here after how many hours is it really those choices but that's, I, but that's what i'm saying that's what i mean it's like like um like the first couple times you you're excited to hang but after you're like used to hang out and like talking all the time at some point you kind of end up being like okay is am i making the choice to stay awake <laughs> to hang out and vibe or am i still excited to like hang out with this person in this in like the oh, is, is there a word for like the platonic version of a honeymoon phase yeah i think like for me i get like favorite people you know, like that yeah. I kind of like hang out with more. Yeah, I, I hyper fixate on, front, on, yeah. on people. Yeah, it's really bad. See, guys, I I'm just so charming. And Ophi's so charming, too. Oh, thank you.
I know. So I'm here after six fucking hours. Oh, wait, no, five hours. Sorry. I Dude, I started talking less because I started getting sleepy, but I wanted to finish the game. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, though. I was like, isn't it way past your bedtime? Like, I was checking yeah, earlier. I'm not going to lie. At one point. <laughs> at one point, what? You cut out again. At one, I, at one point, I did close my eyes. I was like, if I just wait, if I time it and wait until she's done talking, I can open them, <laughs> read the line, and then close them again. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend was complaining about me not giving a window, but like you can leave whenever you want. I hi I hate hyperfixating on people too because like when people no, I get that, dude. When people hyperfixate on me, right? I feel so worthless afterwards, you know. Like like when I feel like they're done with me. That's why, like, when I hyperfixate on people, like, I try to be consistent. I I try very hard not to fixate on people. It's only happened a small handful of times, but every single time, I it it just does not do well for me. I like um, what's it called? Uh, so because like, and so I try to like redirect that energy into like a video game or something else. But like I don't know. I don't think that I've ever been like someone's like fixation. Um, like hyperfixation. I don't think that's ever happened to me. So I, I I personally can't relate. But like um I know like in being fixative on another person, it like sucks so bad if they don't like speak to you for like 30 minutes. Dude, it's really bad. It triggers it's really my awful. anxiety. And like Yeah. Literally, did I tell you this? Like I think it was like yesterday or the day before. I was like, I was kind of like feeling super anxious because I was like, mm -hmm. oh my god, my friends hate me. And I was like, um, <clears throat> I was getting like anxious about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn to drive, and I'm gonna go to the gym, and I'm gonna channel it there. Yeah, and then it did not happen in the span of 24 hours. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I just like I, I try. I try really hard not to fixate on people because I think it's like I feel bad I when know. I do it, but I tend to like treat yeah. them similarly afterwards. Like I tend to treat them the same, so like people don't realize I hyperfixate on them. I mm. try really hard to treat people the same. I think that I'm good at it, and I think I'm good at like hiding it. But like, if it's like somebody, at least like to another, like if it's like to a trusted person. I'll like mm. go to them and I'll be like, they haven't spoken to me in 10 minutes. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do with myself. And like, I know in the moment that it's just a fixation and I just kind of have to get over it. And it's like yeah. something that you have to like let kind of die on its own. But it's like, I don't know. I, I get so, I get so, so worked up and I start to, um, Especially because, like, I'm a very sensitive person and mm -hmm. uh, I don't handle because I, I have like um, I uh, I have like poor emotional regulation and like uh, what is the word? Um, like I, I'm very sensitive to rejection. So like even like a, like a slight no from especially someone I'm fixated on or like. It, it, even if they're not like rejecting me outright or something like if they don't talk to me for 30 minutes it feels like i'm being rejected because i they don't want to spend extra time talking to me or something like that you know what i mean no i get that dude like okay one time uh a friend said brb mm -hmm. and like i know this is like irrational it's not like i never i never get upset at people for these things right but in my head like i i have to remind myself not to take it personally but they they went brb and then they didn't respond to my message. And then I saw them like just like randomly on my Twitter timeline. They responded to something. And I was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're so valid. I like it only really happens like for with people, at least for me, with people that I fixate over. And like, like I said, this doesn't happen super duper often. I'm usually really bad at talking to people or maintaining conversation in general. Like, I'm very much the type of, like, person where, like, you have to just be okay with, like, texting me once, and then you just have to assume that I saw it. You can't, like, 
be at the ready for me to respond to you because there's just a huge chance there's like at least a 98 percent chance i won't respond i'll mm-hmm. look at it i just won't respond and um and like and it's the same like vice versa honestly sometimes i forget that people message me like a lot and so like uh what's it called but like it's it, but the, and that's the part that I like gives that gives me stress is because it's such a like drastic uh what's the word like difference from when I hyperfixate on people yeah because then I'm like sitting there waiting for them to talk to me I'm waiting for like the text <clears throat> notification I get that. to come to my cellular device your cellular device or cellular device yes yeah my cellular my my cell phone, the telephone, the the mobile phone, the phone, the pocket phone. It's that's what it's called. I literally it's called phone? it's called a cell like it's a cell it's a cell phone. It's a cell cellular You're device. Not wrong. For, for me, <laughs> in my case, I usually I if I don't respond, it's usually just because like I don't have the energy but i'll get to it when i get to it but, or it's like i do not a lot of the times people expect a conversation from me and like i would rather respond when i'm in a position to offer that you know what i mean yeah yeah i get that i i definitely get that like i the my, my problem is is like the reason why i don't hold conversations for super long it's because like i know that if i sit down to talk somebody to somebody i can't like talk to somebody and do other things at the same time so if i know that i'm going to sit down and have a conversation with you i'd rather just not respond to you and just go do my work but the problem with, with that is then if i go do my work i will then just I will then just proceed to forget that you messaged me and you may not hear from me for like seven to eight business days. Me. No, I get that. It's hard to... It's hard to fucking find the energy and like the time to message, especially yeah. like online. That's part of like... I, I used to be one of those people that would get mad when people didn't respond in a timely manner when I was like 14. Right? Oh my god, yeah. That I think, or I used to like be the grammar police. The expectations were different then. I feel like everybody kind of got mad when people didn't respond because like it, it was basically treated as like a, like an active conversation. Nowadays, people are like, oh, they'll get to it when they get to it for the most part. I still encounter people who like will be like, excuse me, I see you. Like I've had that happen to me still. I'd never have that happen to me anymore. <sighs> I was on the internet younger than I should have been. Okay, chat. <laughs> younger than I should have been by a long shot. Like, uh... Like, um... When you... Like, when you, when you like, text people... Like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I text more than I, like, actually use, like, Discord or something like that. Like, I... But, like, uh... What's it called? Even then, it's, like, a long shot... You know, and like, uh, I, I will admit, like, I, I do, if I'm feeling extra anxious, I'll be, feel really like panicked and like anxious, I guess, based on the way they reply. If I like upset them or something, cause I'm not good at reading tone through text. Mm. so like it's also a huge reason why i've developed like a a more um like a i guess like a blunt approach but like i try to like or more forward approach when it comes to like communicating with people because like i i can't read like it's hard to read tone so it's just easier to just say everything up front that's fair. I think that's the only time that I really would probably say that I have the most amount of issues is yeah. if I can't tell like uh the emotional stance of the other person. I hate when someone says something and it's like it's in a sli- like if someone acts like slightly different to me than they normally do, 
like if i perceive it mm -hmm. that way not necessarily they that they actually are doing it but like if i perceive it that way i will think about it for the next week until i get like i won't say anything usually not because i can't communicate mm -hmm. but because like i know a lot of the time it's just me making a big deal of nothing right so i won't yeah. say anything until we get put back into our sense of normalcy you know what i mean like what i perceive actually, is what, how we I was actually say are. that i was gonna say that does track for you actually yeah, unless, like, I notice, like, there's a pattern of things being different, I won't say anything. Because, like, I'll assume that it's me just, like, um, overthinking, which a lot of the time it is. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But I think you're very, I mean, like, I don't know, at least, like, at least in, for as long as I've known you, you've always been very good at being like, hey, just checking in, is there a problem, or am I just, like, reading into it too much? Yeah, um, I usually ask straight up if I feel like I might have done yeah. something or something happened. Yeah, I'm. I also am that way. Except like, what's it called? I think for me, I, I'm more of like a. I have to decide whether or not I think it's worth it to ask. Yeah, I spend a lot of time thinking. I'm like, do I want to open up this can of worms? If I do, how will this conversation go? What do I get out of this conversation? Oh, what do they me, get out of this conversation? It's more of like a. Oh, yeah, for me, it's just, like, a rather, like, how much energy do I have and how much energy am I actually willing to spend on this? Like, if it's not pressing enough for me to bring it up, then it probably is just me being bonkers and I'll go get back to it later. Oh, I that. Like, I just tend to think that a lot of the time it's really nothing unless, like, it's hard to like validate your own feelings and like especially when like you know you're an anxious person right oh yeah like and then like that confrontation too like even if you know oh this person cares about me they respect me they're not gonna make a big deal out of this right i a huge thing that helped me is like reframing it instead of like calling it confrontation because like for me confrontation is really hostile and so like reframing reframing it and like calling it like oh i'm approaching somebody about this or i am communicating with someone about this like it helped me a lot to calm down at least for me i don't know if it would work for anybody else but because like confronting is like so it it it's like implied hostility mm. even though that's not really like what it is um it's really like you're just trying to get your feelings across so you can be on the same page with another person that you care about and if I they can just see it want... as like a, a discussion for me personally but i can definitely see that for as a what like a discussion or like a just like bringing it up yeah i just like the word confrontation like by definition hostile or argumentative like um like like uh i guess like encounters I guess and so like eliminating the idea of hostility and like being more open to the idea of like communication and like addressing something or like being able to discuss it more openly for, mm -hmm. for me like I said um like helped uh helped me a lot with like that and like also like uh being more comfortable with putting up boundaries because I think a lot of people I'm addressing their boundaries it's like those people it's like those memes with the people please like people pleasers like making their first like <laughs> for their first prime first time yeah i've seen those lately yeah i think they're so good but it's like similar in concept i guess so yeah oh fuck i forgot we're still playing the game should we get to a save point <laughs> oh yeah i was oh, about yeah. to say i was like mm -hmm. uh, I, I've gotten I dude I literally I leaned my chair back and <laughs> I, I have a that. blanket and I and I turned on my like desk heater <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> all right <clears throat> beautiful mm, you're welcome Lily, you are a miserable loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life Oh my god, thank you. And for that, 
My heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. Cute. Make of that what you will. I will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. Wow, he really is romantic. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm. Did he get blood in his eyeballs? I feel like that would not feel good. Don't you get an infection for that? I don't know. I've only... <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna continue that. Anyway. Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Oh, uh, wait. No, I want a do-over. Do wait. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair! Oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only... It's not enough! Why can't you just... ...kill our parents? What the...? Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to! Murder for your moto. Kill them to solve all your problems. You know, I also realized there's so much fucking art in this game, especially in chapter two. There isn't that much in chapter one, but holy shit, in chapter two, there's so say, much more. There's so much more. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? <clears throat> Look who's awake. Good morning. Or night. It's still nighttime. <laughs> what do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon! Right now? Right now, while they're asleep, we'll set the ritual up and do it. Mm. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts are more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. It's not it. I do have a point that Mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think of anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile... ...you up already. They be fucking for real! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration? God, you're so fucking dumb. I should kiss you. Andrew, are, are you still alive? Oh my god, hide her. Hide her under the blanket. Yikes! This is, I think out of all the scenes in this game, this is the one that makes me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Why? Are you still up? I thought you have work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's really not a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and... I believe I owe you an explanation. But that's alright. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Oh my god! Oh shit. Ashley! Andrew, you, <laughs> uh, Ashley, you stupid bitch. Uh, and she hide. I know. There's literally a blanket. Throw her under the blanket. Like, I don't know. Do something. Uh, no! Oh. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. This whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. Oh, he's covering up his face. Ah. 
For the love of God, this p better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? Where did you get that? What's it looking like now? Mom? No, I wanted to hear the explanation. Uh, Ashley, come on. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. That was some strategic pillow placement. Yeah. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill Dad. You did not need to be told that. Ugh. Rope. Rope. Rope, 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 rope. Where would rope be? The... the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rope, 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 rope. Oh, oh they, what is that? What is that? Uh, I think that's the... Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, we closet. can stop here. Oh, this is oh, a cliffhanger. Closet. Oh, yeah, shit. We're supposed to stop. We're supposed to stop. As quickly as we... I got so we... invested. <laughs> is this their bedroom? Oh, he's sleeping. I oh, guess yeah, just go is. get, get, like, sex toys. If this is fine. Does he untangle the rope from everything else? Ah, oh, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I uh, needed to... Uh, there's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie mom up, doesn't sound any better. could have said he chooses this one <laughs> oh okay. my god you know what i you know what i get you know what you know this is this is why all those uh r34 pictures got him like the way he he yeah, do be in yeah. those pictures you know what this suddenly make way more sense i understand it all now okay <laughs> he, he really said I want to fuck myself. I want to fuck myself? Oh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I can't breathe. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. I, I don't know if we can get past this shame, even in death. Oh, God. Okay, wait. So, go. To, it says go to the basement. I'm just going to read off the thing, so that way we can just go quickly. We should have ran um, to shove him down the stairs. Honestly. Okay, <clears throat> interact with mom three times. In the basement? Let me see. Let's see. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. What is going on? Oh, he does exist. Oh, he's. Oh, that's where. <laughs> the big guys from. Wait, he actually believed it. Andrew, weren't you supposed <laughs> to be? <laughs> I didn't read it. We're just supposed walk down. to be masturbating. Son, why isn't your penis out right now? Why are you slow hard? and steady? <laughs> Don't tell me, son. Is that you when you're hard? Slow and steady. I thought that's what you. Is that what you're trying to tell yourself? Son, we raised a family of of growers, not showers. <laughs> It's like the stick figures, and he's like, <laughs> "It's like, are you are you winning, son? Are you masturbating, son? <laughs> oh my god!" 
<laughs> I'm just like, I'm surprised that he believed it. Why did he believe it? I guess this guy isn't the smartest dude. He didn't even have a sprite until now. Oh my god. That's so fucking... F that's so fucking stupid. Well, Andrew! What? I thought you were masturbating! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Whip your dick out, son! <laughs> this is what a helicopter is! <laughs> You know, you, you want you want to be gentle. You don't want to you, you want to give yourself a rash. You want to be too rough. If you, know? you pee with a hard on, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm getting some like. Don't miss. <laughs> What's that one video? <laughs> what was it of like Brokeback Mountain? And it was like then the dub over, and it's like it gets bigger when I tug on it. <laughs> Same thing. We can make it a family affair. The gang's all here. It's like, it, and then you play. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh my god! Oh. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. <laughs> They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom. There's incest more for two, more than two. This is so detailed. It's just a quadruple <laughs> incest. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, does anyone know what state this takes place in? <laughs> I'm just oh so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just- it's just for research purposes. Dystopian yeah, settings yeah. aside, what state is it? <laughs> mm. Oh so god. Steady. You tie your father up with a rope. Can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not to dwell on it, as he'd rather not visualize how they came to be. No. We're supposed to type the mom with. Uh, I'm never gonna get over that for the rest of my afterlife. <laughs> Just, hey, Andrew, I thought you were masturbating. What is that? <laughs> I'm gonna say that from now on. Like, whenever anyone's, like, late to something, or they said they would be doing something else, I'll be like, Hey! I thought you were supposed to be masturbating! I- I also was going to probably do that. Or if, like, someone asks me a question, and, like, they'll be like, like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, I wanted to fuck myself. <laughs> she probably no worries, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Watashi wa fuck myself? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew. I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? <clears throat> no. Andrew! What? I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. I thought you were supposed to be masturbating. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look her way. Oh, come on. I can't trust you not to get all misty-eyed. Dude, I was just hiding my erection earlier with the pillow. <laughs> Eat shit, Ashley. <laughs> That's not what you were saying earlier. <laughs> whatever, marshmallow spine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever already. Oh, didn't we already use the rope? Oh, shit. Beloved. Ah. Don't test me. Okay, okay. Sorry. You get the sense that whatever trust he had in you is quickly eroding. Three, she, it said three times. Talked to her mom three times. We only talked to her twice. No, that was the third time. Was it? Yeah. See, there's no more. Oh. Maybe we tie Damn. her up with Christmas lights? Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Wait, did it say that on the guide? Hold on. I forgot about the guide already. Yeah, get the Christmas lights and tie up mom. No, but did it say to talk then... to her three times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interact with mom three times. It says, go to the basement, interact with mom three times. Get the Christmas lights and tie up mom. Go upstairs and get the credit card. So this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the ritual? Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? <laughs> Is that what this is about? Money! You go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin and where's the card itself? 
to my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay. Then I'm gonna try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. See? See? Andrew is just as bad. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends if they behave or not. Oh. All right. I'll be quick. Not oh, for shit. a buck, mom. For a fuck. <laughs> Shut up, Raiden. <laughs> I wish I could go with you, but someone has to keep an eye on these two. Wow. Well, this is such a soft interaction compared to usual. That like, is true. Like, you can tell that they're really, like... In sync. Adding. Yeah. Did you find her purse yet? Nothing more, I guess. That's by the front door. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? Get back downstairs! I thought you were masturbating. Sorry. <laughs> You're not gonna try anything. She ain't playing no worries, bro. <laughs> it only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. Just check if mom has lube in her purse. I'm sure she does. <laughs> Probably. Oh, my bad. Oh, you're good. Something, something amazing. Something, something, something. It's so good. Okay. I don't know. I made something up. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on. Out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. I... Fuck! <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. You're the best. Come back soon. God, I wish that was me. Yeah, yeah. They, they really... Is he... Uh, okay. <sighs> I'll see you in a bit. You're Ashley. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Oh, this um, seems important. It was... Ru uh, music, runes, and a book. I or no. Runes, candles, and blood. I think is what it was. Is that what the guide says? Uh... Pick any option for the ritual, then get the knife from the kitchen. Oh Drew runes on the floor, and there's a big magic circle already drawn. I think that drawn was drawn with blood, too. You nod to yourself, confident and pleased with your memory. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need to draw... I need something to draw blood with. Um, probably get a knife from the kitchen. Do you want to call it here or just say fuck it? Fuck it. Okay, we're committed. Let me have the fucking knife! You you piece of shit. Suck my oh, back wait. off. I just realized. Didn't we say wait, I think we wanted to try to do two both endings or something? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I also I may or may not have a meeting in six hours from now. So, well guys, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> so uh I just realized that as well. <laughs> so we can do both endings later. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Why are you saying Ofi? Look, we we got a lot done today. Say thank you for the content, you bitches. <laughs> And our wonderful psychoanalysis. Yeah, don't you love listening to two anime girls have a lot of opinions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, welcome to the stream where you have two overly opinionated anime, over opinionated anime girls telling you. <laughs> welcome to do what DJ in an hour is just your brain. Honestly, I start to hit like sleepy Ophi <gasps> around like 
11 o'clock anyway. <clears throat> I'm just impressed that I managed to exist this long. You so. didn't. You didn't. <laughs> no, isn't it impressive? I'm also impressed. Uh, I wish there were more games like this. I have really good like um points where you can analyze, but also have really good humor and pacing. Yeah, it makes me curious about the other games that this dev has done. I'm gonna probably look into them, TBH. Yeah, like usually when like it comes to like visual novels, they're really hard to stream because the, the pacing is fucking awful for them. But like yeah. for this but is I think fine. It, I was gonna say I think enough like whack shit happens in this as well that it's still that it like it keeps you invested even when you have to get through like the I guess like the long parts, I guess. Yeah, I get you, I get you. So, I'm super curious about some of these. Well, cool. but thank you for letting me hang out with you. Yes, of course. I'm excited to finish this game. I'm trying to remain spoiler free. Me too. Like, um, I I've been doing. That's why I, I spent like two, like a a decent amount of time trying to find like a spoiler free guide. Thank you for that, um, by the way. Yeah, of course. Um, here, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna send you the link to the guide so that way we don't lose it for next time either. I don't want to look for it again. It'll probably be one more stream. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're gonna make an. I don't know how the this one ends. If there's room for a third episode. Yeah, I don't know so, either. I don't know. <laughs> so, you've been meeting. I thought you were supposed <clears throat> to be supposed to be what. Yeah, in six hours, it's... Yeah, it's six hours from now. There's supposed to be two more episodes. Ooh! Oh! That'll be interesting. Even... Wait, two more episodes after they blown? Oh my god, they're gonna be such cute CGs. Oh my god. So she gets pregnant, <laughs> and they have several children, and that's what the game is. Mm, that's... Sh <laughs> nah. Yeah, that can't be good for anybody. Can you imagine Lele with postpartum? Yikers! Oh my god, no! Yikers! That child is getting thrown off the roof! Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, but then, okay, I can see it. Okay, she threatens to throw the child off the roof if, like, Andrew doesn't do something. And then Andrew will eventually choose her. You know? Oh yeah! She'll, she'll get jealous of her own kid. She definitely yeah. would. Mm hmm. 100%. So. But we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna go pass out now. I love you. I love you too. Good night. Thank you for hanging out Good with night. me. Of course. I'm glad that we got to do this. I really do like this game. I think it's really fun. It's really fun. So, uh. Oh, 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 I don't know what what is, what is your goodbye? Do I don't have, have goodbye one. Phrase? Oh, okay, no. well, uh, Otsu, Otsu, Ofi, Otsu, 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 Rana, Otsu, Ayana. Okay, good night. Good night. Mwah. Mwah. I got my blankie. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. If you guys, you know, enjoyed the stream, make sure to like, subscribe. Check out Ofi's channel as well. You can click on her through the, um, through the, the title. Or I have also put a link in the description. Holy fuck, my uterus hurts for no goddamn reason. It's like someone punched me. Holy shit, pain. But, <clears throat> let's see. Hmm. Let me say thank you and read the supas. Let me read. Thank you to everyone that sent one. Let me go to the members. Party member. Okay. Thank you, Gaino. Thank you, Vance. Thank you, Doggo. Thank you, Quispy. Thank you, Venery. Thank you, Parker. Thank you, Akuma. Thank you, Squid. Thank you, Dolox. Thank you, Rabbit. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, Soda. Thank you, Wiz. Thank you, Fires. And thank you, Full Ring. <laughs> We're twinsies. Both our uteruses are in pain. Fuck off my double clicking bullshit. Oh my god. 
Let's see. <clears throat> Stupid. Yeah! Everything breaks. Let's see. Uh. Goliog, thank you. Ophi's boobs do not do have a plump shape. A very nice plump shape. Stream four more hours? Fuck you, I'm going to bed. Suck my dick. Let's see. Derpy said, now's a good time to say, remember chat, be polite and make eye contact when you talk to someone. Yes. This was when Ophi had googly oogly eyes on her booba, I think. Ashley Satan. <laughs> no, but it's just a suggestion. I actually don't know what this was referring to, but thank you very much. Still doesn't explain the chair in the bedroom. I... Was there something special about the chair in the bedroom? I don't recall. Thank you, though, unknown. Still can become a member of either of you, so here's a super chat instead. Thank you very much, Lavi. I appreciate it. Sorry, Lav. I'm used to saying light night. Oh my god. Dude! I, something's not right with my body. I don't know what it is. But thank you. You might have a brand account. Did it have a hole cut at the bottom? I think I saw that in like double se double seven. Also in me the Spartans. So. God damn it, Venere! Stop giving me money, you fuck! Thank you, though. I feel kind of bad. Why did you give so much? You don't need to do that. I am really grateful, though. Thank you. Just make sure that you are doing it within your means, okay? You guys know my policy. You pay for your bills first. Then you put money in your savings. Then you spend on, like, your fun money. Then you can give me the remaining money. Okay? That- that is my policy. I am last. Rana and Ofi fashion advice stream again someday, please. <laughs> so that I've already given you the secret to life. And the secret to life is wearing compression shirts. What if the fun money is meant for you? Where's my fun money, Goku? Where? Doko? Yeah, that's true. Everyone who watches my stream tends to get a promotion. It's happened to at least like 10 different people. It's kind of crazy. Like, how has it happened to so many people that they managed to get a job? And my stomach hurts. You know what it is? I think I actually... Hmm. 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 Never mind. Your new job sucks? Okay, well, we don't- we don't count you. It does not... push my narrative. So, it does not exist. <laughs> I personally call your boss to promote you. I think that if they found out that you were watching me, they would probably demote you. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's not my problem, though. Compression shirts and courses, they emphasize your gut. Okay, but like... <coughs> the soda actually goes to the gym regularly. In Discord, I have a channel where, um... It's called a motivation channel, and it's so people can hold each other accountable and share their accomplishments at the gym or work or whatever. It's weird. They're so positive. It's kind of gross, actually. Have a good night and rest well. It was a fun stream. Looking forward to the next one with you both. All the best. Thank you very much, Ruka. I hope that you enjoy the next one, too. I don't know when it'll be. Hopefully next week, but... Ophi uh, usually does her schedule more in advance than I do, so... You know, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, watching you got me the luck to get the job, even though it sucks. If I didn't have that luck, I would be homeless for a month. Hey, I'm glad to hear that you're not homeless. <laughs> Only Rana can make it sweet and sincere by saying stop giving me money you fucking thank you in the same sentence. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's important that you have your priorities straight. And while I should be number one, okay, at the top of your priority list, if you become homeless, you I can't even be a priority. What are you gonna do? Walk to Canada? As if. <clears throat> Thank you very much, guy. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. 
All right, let me see. Hmm. Who should I raid? Did I say something? I don't remember. A salmon's on. Yeah, I can eat salmon. Is salmon gonna end soon? Do you guys know? I'm not sure. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, make sure to submit for the drunk AMA. It's been a while since we've seen drunk Rana. But there's gonna be a drunk AMA this Saturday. So that can only go well, right? That's true, I do hear that Rana Ayana is a very cute VTuber. <clears throat> oh, she's ending in a bit soon? Okay, I'll probably just raid my uh, waiting room for tomorrow then. Once again, make sure to check out Ofi's um, channel as well as comment on the VOD, blah blah blah. If someone could ta timestamp because we wouldn't shut the fuck up, that would be appreciated. You know? There's something. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, Rana and Elvie. There's a lot of multiple choices in this section. There are a few hours left of the commentary and analysis. Ugh, yeah, of course. We would extend the game by like three hours, unsurprisingly. Thank you, Vison. I appreciate it. Alrighty. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, I got nothing more to say. Fuck off. I'm out. Bye! Oh wait, I lied. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid Opie's waiting room for tomorrow because I realized that she has one up. I thought she didn't have one a waiting room up. So I'm actually gonna raid hers. Boop, 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 boop. Where is this shit? Stupid bitch, where is it? Oh, there it is. Hi.